Hello, good evening and welcome to the two new view for the watch along Newcastle United versus Everton. The first thing you'll notice is Paul's not here. And that is because he's managed to get to St. James's Park tonight, which is fantastic news. And so we're going old school on the commentary tonight with myself and Stato. Some joining at halftime and full-time also. Uh, and we'll go through the team news in a minute. Before we do that, we should go for the rib roll of, if you do like what you're seeing, hit that thumbs up. It's really, really important to us. And if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button also. Membership's available by clicking the join button. And Super Chats are also available by clicking the dollar sign just below the chat. Uh, all that being said, have a great evening. Enjoy our, enjoy our commentary. It will be fun. Uh, no spoilers in the chat, obviously. Uh, if you are ahead of us, just wait until I've commented it, and then you can say whatever you like then. Uh, good evening, Sam. Good evening, Stato. How are we? Hello. Hola. How are doing? Good. <sighs> team news time. Let's get the teams up. Stato, have you seen them yet? No, I haven't. I thought I'd wait until now because we were right. doing this together. So. Okay, dokie. Here's the Newcastle United lineup. It's the Bradford goal, the back four of Kraft, Share, Dan Byrne, the captain, and Lewis Hall at left back. A midfield of Bruno, Longstaff, and Anderson. And a front three of Murphy, Isaac, and Barnes. Uh, substitutes, Carrius, Gillespie. There's two keepers for you. Dummett, Richie, Willock, and then some children. Uh, Joe yeah. White, Diallo, Alex Murphy, and Ben Parkinson. Initial thoughts, Sam? Um, I am I'm disappointed that we've got two keepers on the bench. Um, I've been desperate to get in the chat all night uh, just to say I think this would have been a great opportunity to have Alfie Harrison uh, on the bench and get him around the team. He's He's been in warm weather training with the lads. We know that he's already trained with the seniors at, at Man City. Um, so why are we not taking this as an opportunity when we, we, we clearly just we we have the we have the chance to sort of get him around the the atmosphere and the crowd and see what it's like and to have two keepers really thrilled to see Hall getting a start of course uh, and obviously Mr Barnes yeah so that's how Anderson in for Willock is that a good choice for you yes I think I think it's necessary with the combative nature of that Everton Everton side I think we were half right we we went with two kind of predicted lineups and mm -hmm. he's gone with a mixture of the two. I think, I think if anything, I think Sam was probably the closest with a prediction yeah, yeah. with Anderson. Um, we'll wait and see which sides they line up. I, I would imagine it's going to be Anderson left side, um, but he's decided to bench Willock, which I, I, I agree with. I, th I think it makes perfect sense. I, I purely went with that logic as did you, I'm sure, because we thought it's, it's what he's, he's done previously and he'll do it again. Mm. But it, again, it's, it's kind of, it's refreshing. He's gone with a more slightly more combative midfielder um, with the left winger who's just come on and scored a couple of goals. It makes perfect sense. Um, not so sure about Kraft at right back. However, he's always done generally quite well under Eddie Howe. So I guess let's just give him a chance. Well, we haven't got any choice, but well, fingers you crossed. Who's up against uh, Emil Kraft? It might make you feel a little bit better. Uh, this is the Everton sign. This is how I think they line up. Uh, it's, a, it's probably a 4-3-3 with Mikalenko, uh, sorry, Pickford in goal. Mikalenko, Branthwaite, Tarkovsky and Godfrey. A midfield, I think, of Garner, Onana and Ducore. And a front three of Ashley Young on the left, uh, McNeil on the right and Beto through the middle. So that puts Ashley Young up against uh, Emil Kraft Sato and he's 38. I mean, we can't say too much because he did score against us recently. So, yeah, um, it's it's... Kind of as predicted, the back four was as predicted last night if Mikolenko was available, and he is. So it is quite an expected back four. It's quite tough to break down. Um, it is a combative midfield. Again, Idrissa Garner Gay with, with buckets of experience, played at PSG. Onana's an absolute tank. Um, yeah, I think Young is Young is ideally where we, where we go for there. If he's going to play, um, I'm guessing Young's going to play right side, which would be um, mm. Godfrey's yeah, side. Yeah. So, yeah, probably Barnes. We, we could do with Hall and Barnes being on it from the get-go tonight because that's going to be where the drama is. I think the opposite side, McNeil's a very hard worker and Mikalenko's quite experienced. So a little bit tougher to break down. But again, no slouches. Kraft is, is a pretty basic fullback. He's quite happy to overlap. Um, and, and Murphy always tries hard and tries to beat his man and get crosses in. So it, it'll be interesting, especially with the midfield battle as well. Yes, Sam, it seems like he's, Mr. Dyche has ditched his technical plays in favour of the more physical ones. That could be a, a bit of a danger for us with our injuries, couldn't it? 
Yeah, absolutely. And I think we, we mentioned this in the preview that um, we're, we're essentially made of glass at the minute and, and, and even something, you know, not not potentially life threatening, like it could actually mean that we're, we're in the mire and could actually have to start using our subs off the bench. Um, I I think Matt's made a, a really good comment in the chat actually uh, that obviously seeing seeing Kraft playing um, means that Eddie's been made some decisive in game decision which is which is great and it's good to see and I'm really happy that we've we seem we've shaken it up like Alex has just suggested as well so we're trying some new things and we've talked about the. The, the desire from probably the fans for Eddie to make some changes and see those in in game decisions, uh, and I think this is obviously testament to it. I know after the match he he said you know that was the the wrong decision. It wasn't because of an injury, uh, because he's obviously on tonight. So yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting one. I think personally they're going to sit back and let us have the ball and and personally look to try and get us on the counter. I've got some uh, some good comments here. It's a membership for twenty seven months. Norvik Hein Marsh. He says, won't be joining in tonight as in hospital. Now both of us, his brother Olaf's also there. What the hell is going on? It seems to be spreading from the team. Well, I hope you get well soon, Norvik, and your brother Olaf too. Uh, 27 months of members, fantastic achievement, it really is. Up the A1's been a member for a, a month, shy of two years, 23 months. And he says, you all do a fabulous job. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much, mate. And the 499 Super Chat from Mark Smith. He says, Billy, you are so funny. Alex, I'd love to have a coffee with you and talk football stats. Looking forward to all the commentary tonight. Thanks ever so much for those uh, super chats and memberships, of course. Let's do some comments. So I'm going to go right to the top if we can get there because there's millions of comments. Um, that was probably me looking to vent earlier before we did. No, no, no. Come on. I think we've all got individuals. I need to go straight to the bottom, don't it? So, oh, it could take a while, this. But we'll get there in the end. Right, we're there. No, we're not. Let's skip down again. Uh, there we are. Uh, Toon Gamer says, uh, Fabrizio Romano has said today that he is hearing we are discussing sacrificing Bruno in the summer to have more money to use in the summer due to FFP. Mm, not sure how I feel about that, Stato. Where's he getting that from? I mean, that that's just a surely that's just a regurgitated story Poss at, at this point. There's been a lot of it. Where, where's he said that? I'm just gonna look at his tweets today. Slow day, it must have been for uh, Fabrizio. Um, Eli says Dubravka again. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with that from starting to, starting to be truthful about things. Uh, Toon Game says Hall and Kraft as fullbacks. Tom's at the game, of course, just starting to drizzle there. Um, Sam, all these chats are you virtually. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I needed to get it out my system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scary defense, I'd say, says Eli. Uh, at evening to Stephen M. He says, long stuff ahead of Willock's Sai. Uh, and Toon Game also says, uh, chose two keeps on the bench instead of Harrison. Yeah, that's a fair comment. We've all picked up on that. Uh, Stephen M. says, hope Kraft has a good game at right back. Really hope his camera on the weekend was a blip. Yes, I'll, I'll do as well. And, and to, be, to be fair to Emil Kraft, he's been fantastic since Eddie Howe came in, hasn't he, Sam? Yeah, I think he's always been like quite quite steady. Um, I think maybe the the internationals have, have knocked his confidence. I, I did check out some of the some of the Sweden games, and he I think he got one touch in in one of them, and very very few in the next one. So I think it's maybe just a confidence blip. But he's he's always been relatively reliable in the past. So yeah, hopefully we'll take that. What do you think about the two keeps on the bench, Stato? Disappointed, obviously, but look, I mean. With all the recent drama surrounding Lewis Hall and the the talk of him not being particularly ready for the for the defensive side and needing to to learn a bit more, fine. If if the, surely that logic's just going to be applied to the the underlings that aren't ready yet, but um, it, it's just a shame because you get clubs all up and down the league that will quite happily use use the kids when when necessary. But I, I guess most of those teams are, are kids with better academies or they've poached poached from us generally. Um, i.e. Liverpool. Yeah, it's it's a tricky one. It, it's it, it's difficult to stomach because, and I've said this before, it must be really frustrating for the for the younger ones in the under twenty ones in the academy who are who are training with the first team sometimes, and have had chances in the past to look at a team sheet come out in a game like this for a, for a sort of a, a side fight in relegation. And for there to be two two keepers on the bench, it must be tough to take as a young one. But I guess it's character building, but buzzwords. I hate it, but 
I mean, they're just going to have to deal with it, aren't they? I think yeah. it's frustrating, Alex, and uh, it, it, I mean, it must be so frustrating from them, especially when we saw Alfie Harrison's comments that he wanted a route to the first team. That's why he's come to Newcastle. And he, on evenings like tonight, where we're seeing that bench, we're seeing that lineup, you know, the, the experience that he's got around the team that that's got to that that's got to hit hard. I mean, you can still have him on the bench as an option, right? Because yeah, the sub for his position is Willock. So that position's covered already as as a, as a substitution generally. Um, you've got a few. You've got Hearns, who was used previously. Um, mm. It's just it's an odd one. It really is an odd one. Something I want to mention here, and David T uh, picks it up. Well done to Bruno and Anthony Gordon for that video with the young lad Tyler. Heartwarming. If you haven't seen it, it's a Premier League released the video. It's not just Newcastle United that's released it. It's actually the Premier League. A young lad of Tyler who has autism wrote a letter to the club. Uh, telling telling them basically about the, the problems he has at the ground, uh, doesn't like loud noises and crowds. Um, and he went on a tour today or yesterday, whenever it was. Uh, and the club sneaked in Bruno and Anthony Gordon. It was a fantastic video, wasn't it? So that's how... it was. It was. Um, it, it was incredible, actually. It was. It was lovely to see, and it's. It, it just makes it seem even less plausible that either of those two are going to ever leave. Um, because it's just, yeah, it's it's a it's an additional sort of human touch. Um, it's it's really really positive. It's nice to see us kind of delving into into things like that in in, in different communities um, and often you know people who need the additional support. It's nice that the club's doing that and and trying to be, you know, trying to make a difference because it's what it's what footballers always were back in the day. And when I say back in the day, I mean sort of even a hundred years ago is their heroes. Um, and it's nice that. We've we've gone through a huge period of time in the last twenty years where it was o- overpaid people who go down too dramatically and have too much hair gel in and da 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 and it's become a bit of a a thing. So it's nice that we we've got a few now that are really stepping up in in sort of community projects. We've we've been very lucky in recent years, especially in our squad, with players like Demba Bar and Cisse, Alan Saint Maximin as well. We've had a lot of people that were really really good um, with um, charity and the community stuff. And it's just lovely. It's great to see because we we need that. People need heroes, you know. Especially in the northeast, it's very traditional, right? Is you, it's it's what it's what brings everybody together at the weekend, regardless of whether you're a lawyer, a barrister, a bin man. It, it's irrelevant. It's it's everybody kind of walks up to the cathedral on the hill, and it's that unity and and community spirit. And it's nice that the players and the club are trying to get involved as well. A couple of super chats. Davin Cox, two pounds. He says, even all praying for a big win for Hall and company. And Nick Thornton, the £5 Super Chat. Uh, everyone needs to watch the Premier League video with Tyler, Bruno and Gordon for Autism Week. Amazing. Sam, it was amazing, wasn't it? Really, really. Shone the club in a good light, I thought. It, it was so special and it, it makes you quite proud of, of our players and of the club as well to be sort of leading the way with with people with neurodiversity needs um you know that the amount of people uh in children nowadays getting diagnosed with with some sort of neurodiversity condition um allowances being made in school so it should be made allowances for when we want to get people into the ground so they can enjoy it and as alex said feel feel part of that collective community it should be celebrated and it shouldn't it shouldn't divide us it should actually make us stronger as a as a fan base so to offer these types of specialized rooms you know the the um the 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 noise cancelling headphones that they've got as well the the sensory lights in there i just think it's been made really really special and the the flag that he's being given as well i think that's just a lovely moment and you're absolutely right alex this this is interwoven into our culture as a club and helps us retain the players because it's more than just a, a fan base that support and pay it's a fan base that you get to feel a part of and we've seen Bruno actually do it a few times as well um, with the with the Newcastle Foundation uh, the Alan Shearer Foundation obviously does a great deal as well it was a fabulous fabulous video to to bring awareness to National Autism Month it was a really heartwarming video it brought a tear to one's eye I have to say um, yeah well, it, I, I have got one tiny teeny tiny little gripe and that's the the Premier League just kind of re-releasing the video themselves mm. they're going to get money off that it's, it's that's the club's true. thing no, that should have been retweeted and kind of repackaged as an NUFC thing it doesn't look like the Premier League were involved in that so 
Mm, it just rubs me up the wrong way. I don't like that. There's no need. It, it was a community. It's a community thing for a cause. It was yeah. But anyway, I'm just moaning for the sake of it. Anyway, another five pound super chat for Mark Mullins. Not sure what you guys think, but I really like the look of Everton's Jared Branthwaite. Braithwaite, Branthwaite, it is, isn't it? Maybe he could be a player we look at for the summer. You impressed with him, uh, Sam? Uh, I haven't seen a great deal from him, if I'm completely honest. So I'll probably be keeping an eye out for him tonight, along with Unana, and we'll What's see how it goes. What? <laughs> so that's how you are a fan of Branthwaite, aren't you? Also, so I am indeed. I, I just feel like it's potentially. Um... Well, you say that again. Transfer shows for Branthwaite. We have we have covered him in the past. We are going to do him again, uh, purely based on. Well, we think we're going to do something a little bit more, a little bit uh, special. But I'll keep I'll keep it under wraps because otherwise somebody will do a show on it immediately. Um, yeah, Branthwaite potentially purely because we've got two centre halves out till Christmas. Um, we we tend to have one superstar or semi superstar signing per per sort of season summer transfer window I think it's a fair shout that it, it's possibly going to be a centre half position this year so it's not it's not out the realms of, of possibility that it's going to be a, a big sign and it's going to be somebody like this so yeah if you've not seen him play watch him because he's very very good for his age are we still confident about the victory tonight before we get into the kind of getting us the actual stream up uh, Sam are you still confident can we still absolutely. win this game absolutely yeah, of course we can. Absolutely, I get that they've uh, you know got got something to fight for, um, but they they don't take uh, they don't take too many chances. Their press is not great, um, which I think will work in our favour into Eddie's style. Um, so yeah, I think as long as we come out the gates um, with with some intensity and and go for that first goal straight away, that'll give us the confidence boost that we need. I generally think they're just going to sit back. So that's how you still confident. Um, I, I wouldn't say confident. I don't think it's confidence. I think it's expectation. Right. There, there's got to be a certain element of expectation with the 11 on the pitch, the talent we've got in this first 11, e even though we've got a lot of injuries, um, and where Everton are and their recent run of form, there has to be a level of expectation that we're going to at least get... Well, a point would even be a little bit frustrating. We need to start picking wins up. You know, Eddie Howe, referenced Europe. They, they did that recent video um, with him and Jason Tindall, guest the professional, which is a great video. Um, and they, they did mention Europe, the European hunt and they referenced it in another one as well. So if, if Jason Till, uh, Tindall and Eddie Howe were talking about Europe in press conferences, you got to be winning these games. This one specifically, you got to be winning a game like this at home against a team in the bottom, the bottom sort of five, are they ish? Yeah. Mm. So, Confident, I don't know, but I do expect we, we to win this. We should be winning this. There are whispers going around that Paul Dummett is about to resign a new contract, isn't there? Um, hello there, says, would I resign him? Probably not. Sam? No, <laughs> if I had a choice, but are we are we in that well, sort of desperation that we're considering resigning Dummett? Potentially now, yeah. But no, I wouldn't want him. Wouldn't be a choice. Let's just make sure we're spelling that right as well, guys. Because re resign with no hyphen means he's going to quit, and re-sign with a hyphen means he's going to sign a new contract. Oh, I thought you meant. I thought you meant the dummy was miss signing because he's got two T's, hasn't he? But never mind. Picking up someone on the spelling. Uh, Twenty. I, I just need to set up a couple of bits, so I'll be. I'll be two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Jens Halver Antonsen, uh, Twenty Norwegian Krona. Uh, he says the toilet. Vid really made me emotional and so happy. Thanks for that super chat, mate. Very much appreciated. Uh, people are saying that the big clubs will be after, well, the cartel clubs, I should say, not the big clubs, will be after um, Jared Branthwaite. Uh, David Smith's been a member for 22 months. Shay Given just said on TNT that he hopes a big club doesn't come in for Isaac. Uh, just sums up FFP working it against us. Well, we can still turn it down, can't we, Sam? We haven't got to take it. Absolutely. And it's got to be on the player if they want to go. Um, that That's always quite important that we just think it's about, you know, money ball. But I, I, I think we I think we're exciting enough to, to hold his interest, get us another marquee signing that could enhance his style of play and, and allow him to be, play positionally where he wants to be. Um, and I think he will stay. Um, I certainly don't want to see him go. Um, he was a marquee signing and he's going to accelerate our team to where we want to be next season. He's going to be a huge part of that. I couldn't agree more. A uh, $5 super chat from Graham Ritchie. He says, greetings from the Cayman Islands. Should be a great atmosphere tonight, however, Ooh. lads. 
Thank you very much from the Cayman Islands, Graham. I uh, really appreciate that. There must be, I think there's another super chat somewhere as well. Uh, no, it's George Carlson, who's become a new member. So thank you for joining Members Club, George Carlson. Welcome to the community. That is the tune of you. And I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Um, this is a strange prediction. Sweet Shot Park says, I'm predicting a 10-9 Newcastle win. We've been defending like shit, but so are they. I guess you're right. Um, actually, their defence ain't too bad. Um, but they just don't score. Yeah, it, yeah, it's not, it, it, it's it's not wrong. Um, in, in terms of in terms of our defending, um, uh, you know, craft coming in, we don't have Tino, we don't have Trips. That's obviously a hit. We do have Hall. Super excited to see that. But equally so, they they they, they don't get up. They don't get shots. You know, they they're sort of known for it. So yes, they might be great defensively. But I think if we just make sure that we press and go for early goal, then I think we'll be absolutely fine. I'm confident. Touch I'm wood. Really, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm really pleased to hear that because I am, I am too. I think we'll win tonight. Come um, on. How are you, the lads? We can do it. Yes. Yeah, of course we can. We're playing Everton, not Bayern exactly. Munich or, or Brazil. You know, it's um. there you go. Uh, ben Nicholson says there are youngs on the bench. He's took Willock out, but still starting short. I'm confused. Now, why not start the youngsters? Um, if he isn't playing Shaw and he would play Willard, wouldn't he? So there wouldn't be any kids playing anyway. I mean, let's be honest, Ellie Anderson is still a youngster. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Ben's probably referencing, you know, the, the the other younger players that we've got, you know, the talent in the in the the academy that we've come in through. I noticed like earlier people were saying Sanusi and things, which I, I think he's probably keen but green, in my opinion, uh, probably not quite there. But I don't think there's there's any excuse for the likes of like this Alfie Harrison things really got under my skin about it because I, I get concerned that we maybe make some false promises um, from from eddie and i just don't want like like we did the same with hall and he's missed a great deal of season where he could have been support and i don't want to see the same happen to alfie harrison 100 percent, i'll agree um everyone's uh, disappointed about the two keepers thing uh, so pissed that hal's got two keepers on the bench again no wonder clark's boys legged it to the bin dippers yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, i guess it's a fair point um yeah there you go some will be interesting to see how strong this team spirit is. Uh, I like coffee confirming Paul's at the game. He is indeed. He will be doing a reaction after the after the game, probably from his car, actually. Uh, myself and Stato will head over to Patreon and do ours for after the game. So, <laughs> excuse me. But if you want to sit here for uh, a good uh, match reaction, uh, sign up to our Patreon. Let's get the banner up so you can see it, um, actually. Five pounds a month. And uh, that entitles you to exclusive content for myself, uh, Stato and Tom Lynch also. I need to give them that comment as well, don't I? Um, so you can see it properly. Um, there you go. Five pounds a month. Ex yeah, as I say, it's exclusive content that you don't get on here. Myself and Stato talking about transfers, match reactions, and then myself and Tom doing the legend stuff uh, and the history of the club. Uh, that's that. Let's get rid of that. I caught the last one actually, Billy. It was really good. The last ma match reaction. I've got uh, I've got the history one lined up as well on Bobby. So looking forward to that. Oh, we got to go. it's a long, long old. I think it's a one over an hour. I think it is, if I remember rightly. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it, it, it. You know what? The the podcasts are perfect. Like out out with the dogs, or when you just like you know cleaning the house. Dare I say, love that. <laughs> We've got an eight ninety nine New Zealand dollars uh, super chat from Ronan Tyrrell. He says, "How do NFC, NUFC kick on to the next level or buy big players if we keep getting injuries and need replacing?" It's a good question, Stato. Mm, I. I don't think it really it doesn't have too much bearing. I think it just changes the priority order of how we're going to buy stuff. Um because I think if if all the center halves were fine I I think it would have been a, a position we were looking to recruit in this summer anyway. But now because of two ACL injuries it makes it an absolute priority is priority number 1. So I, I think the club have got a plan anyway. They'll have a one season plan, a three season plan, a five season plan. Obviously, there's two windows a season. Um, things may shift, obviously, because of the Ashworth stuff. But I think they will have a, a general roadmap. I'm, I'm just not too sure what they're going to do because Dan Ashworth has, is going. Um, again, a lot of that depends. The, the, sort of the, the next two years is kind of irrelevant if he doesn't join anyone else because he's got gardening leave. But if Man United do buy him out, then he's kind of they're privy to what we're doing. So 
tricky to say. It really is tricky to say. It depends on if we qualify for Europe as well, because then we can offer people potentially a bit more playing time and that, that has bearing on who you can bring in. And it's it's complicated. It is indeed. Right. I guess we better get towards the match. Um, Sam's going to join us at halftime uh, for her impressions of the first half. Absolutely um, am. And myself and Stato will do uh, the commentary. So we're going to head over there. Sam, we'll see you at halftime. And uh, good luck. Let's have some goals. Enjoy all. Catch us later. See you later. So that was Sam there. Um, I need to remove it, don't I? There you go. Uh, and then I need to change this again to the two, two screen thing. And then I need to get the banner up, which I haven't done yet, which is really professional of me. <laughs> uh, where is banners? Can't, oh, I'm in the wrong bloody section. Right, okay. So if we edit that, and then we change that. And that's that done. And then we put that on there. <coughs> and then we get to the game. There we go. Let's have a look. I'm still loading stuff up at the moment, so... Oh, yeah, OK. Well, the teams are out on the pitch. They are out in there um, shaking hands with each other. The Newcastle lineups about to come on the screen, and here it comes. It's Dubravka, Kraft, Sherburn, Lewis Hall, uh, Longstaff, Bruno Guillemoish, Ellie Anderson, Jacob Murphy, Alexander Isaac, and... Uh, what's his first name? Harvey Barnes, isn't it? Of course it is. Yes, a bit of senior uh, senior moment there. Forgot his name. <laughs> Let's go full screen, and then we can see everything there. It won't be the first time you confuse Sean Longstaff with Dan Byrne tonight. Oh god, yeah, I can guarantee it. And then Nana and Ducore, absolutely definite. I'm, I'm saying it now. So that's all. Keep an eye on the comments while while this is going. Uh, I've not got my eye on the comments at the moment, but he'll, he'll anything important, he'll say it. There's a the subs, Lovis Carriers, Gillespie, Dummett, Richie, Willock, White. Amadou Diallo, the number 49, Alex Murphy, and Ben Parkinson. Here's the Everton lineup. Uh Tyrannosaurus Rex in goal. Ben Godfrey right back. Uh Tarkovsky and Brunthwaite as centre backs. Vitaly Mikolenko back in the side as the left back. He brings a little bit more balance to the side. Uh then in midfield. That look well, they, they say 4-4-1-1. Ashley Young go, no, no, it's just a gay. Dwight McNeil across the midfield with Ducore just in front of those and just behind the striker Beto. So that's the, the Everton lineup. Could it be a lot of long balls, I believe, tonight? I don't see much technical football being played by Everton, to be perfectly frank. Uh, but we shall see. And the substitutes for them is uh, Joao Virginia, the goalkeeper, Nathan Patterson, Michael Keane, Dominic Calvert Lewin, Jack Harrison, Andre Gomez, Seamus Coleman, uh, Yusuf Chimiti. And James Garner, who of course played in the under twenty ones in the in the summer, so he's, he's he's a good player, James Garner. I can't understand why he doesn't get in his side, but still, captains are doing the photos and stuff. Dan Byrne and uh, I think it's Tarkovsky, the captain of Everton. I think it is uh, Eddie Howe and Sean Deutsch shaking hands um, pre kickoff, and we shall be no clock tonight, folks. Of course, we're back to basics. Uh, Paul's studio is restricted to Paul's computer. So this is old school. Uh, we are going old school tonight uh, with just the banner of belief beneath. Stato, can you change the banner if it, if it, if it score? Oh, I'm pretty sure I can. Good stuff. I'll figure it out. Just go into banner, um, hit the pencil, change it and save it and then put it back on screen, basically. Here's the referee. Uh, Harrington, isn't it, the referee tonight? And Everton will kick off, and they are kicking towards the Leeds' end first half. So there's been no shit there. there. Actually, no, they're kicking towards the Gallagher. This is what's right. That's how it always is. Uh, so there's no shit there. there. And it is Beto, I think, about to take the... I know, and we're off anyway. We're off and running. All the way back to uh, Pickford, and he's launched it straight down the middle, looking for an Everton head. Uh, head comes from Dan Byrne. Flipped on by Harvey Barnes, only as far as uh, Onana. And the ball through the middle goes straight into the arms of Martin Dubravka. And Newcastle can start from deep with uh, Dan Byrne. Plays it wide for Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall inside for Bruno. Got pressure on him straight away, but he squares it to Lewis Hall. Uh, Ducore was the man putting the pressure on Bruno. 
And that might be the tactic for Everton tonight to stop Bruno getting the ball. Last season, in the, the corresponding fixture, there was 10 minutes of absolute magic from Bruno. A uh, little one-two there with uh, Longstaff and Bruno. It's a good good move. He has it. Has to come deep. Plays it wide then for Kraft. Kraft will probably come back to share. Now he goes for Bruno. First time ball over the top. Murphy's a mile offside. Let's it run. And Mikalenko picks it up and goes back to uh, Pickford. Pickford hoofs it down the middle. Looking for the jump of Vijasagana Gay. Doesn't get to it. There's a header from uh, Lewis Hall. But it's cleared from over to long, long punt. Uh, Beto. Very physical on share there, uh, but the ball is back with Dubravka now. Craft inside for Fabian Share. Long ball looking for uh, Elliot Anderson. Elliot Anderson turns and goes, puts a ball in behind. Great ball that is. Can Barnes get there? No. Uh, ben Godfrey got there first and laid it back to uh, Jordan Pickford, who played it back out for Godfrey, and he's cleared it down the line and straight out of play. Sato, first minute and a half. What's your impressions? Oh, I'm struggling at the moment to get uh, to okay, get. Okay, we're in, we're in here, and it's going to be oh, great save, Pickford from Ellie Anderson. Should have been one nil Newcastle. Ball still in the box with Murphy. Squares it back, looking for Bruno, but it's cleared. Lewis Hall will pick it up just in front of Beto. Now share wide he goes then to Murphy. Great pressure this from Newcastle. Ball in back. It's long stuff under the byline, and it's going to be. Oh, I thought it was going to go for corner, but it didn't. And Everton get it clear. Should have been one nil to Newcastle. Then Ellie Anderson, uh, one on one with Pickford. Pickford made himself big and stopped it. But a great attempt that from Newcastle. Great attack. Uh, should have been 1-0. Anyway, Newcastle still on the attack with Fabian Cher. Been allowed to come forward. Plays it wide for Murphy. Murphy squared by Mikelenko. Cross comes in, headed away from uh, uh, Tarkovsky. Terrible touch from Garner Gay, but uh, Onana gets it clear. To do Corre. Terrible ball. Murphy has it. Nods it inside for Longstaff. Longstaff ball out wide for Kraft, who's forward. Lots of pressure early doors. Two and a half minutes on the clock. Bruno at the minute. Bruno has it. Has to come backwards to Murphy. He dropped a little bit deep. Cuts inside, looking for a ball inside uh, Branthwaite. Branthwaite cuts it out and calmly steps away from uh, Sean Longstaff and plays a nice ball too uh, to Decore. Decore is going to come wide here for Ashley Young. Ashley Young going against Lewis Hall. Steps inside Lewis Hall. Uh, plays a, a floaty ball to nobody in particular. That's going to run out of play. Goal kick Newcastle. Any luck yet, Sato? Yeah, I'm, I'm 30 seconds behind you though. So, um, yeah, we look good. Lots of patient attacks. Well worked. We're, we're getting a lot of the ball. We just need to make this count. Ball is with Dan Byrne. Uh, turns inside Beto. And Dubravka has it. Plays it to Cher. Cher bypasses Kraft. Goes to Murphy. who plays it back to Kraft. And then back to Cher again. And Newcastle being patient and build up. Dan Byrne. Wide for Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall for Harvey Barnes. Back to Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall goes around Ashley Young with ease and plays a ball in for Isaac, but it's over hits, headed back to the keeper from Branthwaite and Pickford has it in his possession with no pressure, really. He's got it in his arms now, his small arms. Long kick down the middle. Old-fashioned punt ball from the goalkeeper. Byrne gets to it and there's a foul on Byrne from, I think it was Beto, who's charged into uh, Dan Byrne there. And there's a clash of heads and Burns down holding his head. Let's have a look at this. Well, he says holding his head, but it's actually elbowed him in the, in the face there, led with his arm. Uh, and Burns up on his feet, luckily enough. But hmm, interesting, interesting challenger. And Beto held his head to make to make the referee believe that he'd hit him hit his head, but he hadn't. It was elbow. Anyway, play continued. Long stuff has it. Uh wide for and uh, it's Burn. I've just done it. <laughs> Lewis Hall. Oh, cuts out, but luckily the ball fell to Longstaff. Now Cher, approaching the Everton half, plays a long ball, looking for Harvey Barnes. It's a fantastic pass uh, to this left flank. Harvey Barnes plays it inside for, for, for Hall. Anderson crosses, comes in, cleared away. Harvey Barnes being manhandled off the ball there. Referee does nothing about it, and Everton come away with the ball with Ducouré legging it down the wing. Lewis Hall trying to get back to, to, to match him. And does in the end. And Harvey Barnes gets a tackle in. Ricochet falls to Ashley Young. Now it's Onana. Square he goes to Igrisagana Gay. And then wide on the far side then to Mikolenko. Mikolenko comes inside for Idrissa. And then Onana again. First bit of possession that Everton's had. Uh, and now it's with James Tarkovsky. And he goes all the way back to Jordan Pickford. Five minutes and 22 on the clock. 
Pickford, Long, Punt, Cleary. This is like watching the old-fashioned 80s Wimbledon. This is. Uh, just get Dwight McNeil, though. Cuts it inside for Ducourve. Enters the penalty area. Oh, just over the bar. Uh, oh, poor defending from Newcastle, that. Uh, the cut back from uh, McNeil to Ducourve. Ducourve entered the box without any challenge at all and shot, but it was about a yard over the bar. But, yeah, disappointing defending that from Kraft firstly. And then nobody picking up uh, Ducourve from deep. Uh, and that could have been dangerous to Newcastle United, but still no goals. Stato, have you got that bit yet? Uh, I'm catching up, but Decore is 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 being a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. He's being very, very aggressive. The referee oh. letting a couple of physical things go early doors. Um, and that's probably not a good sign for us because they're a little bit more physical. Yeah. Dodge ball, isn't it? Without any shadow of a doubt. Throw into Everton, back to Jordan Pickford. Uh, and he's going to kick it off the deck. And it's it's just a punt all the time. It's it's really, really old school Wimbledon. Bruno nods it back, but it's a poor header. Beto picks it up, going against Cher. Uh, Beto's gone down. and Well, that's a strange decision. Uh, Kraft took, took his legs, has he? Just crossed his legs as he's running. And Beto's gone flying down. And we have to give a free kick. Now, let's have a look. If he did make any contact with him, or he just dives. Not even touched him. Oh, that's pathetic. It's the most blatant dive you'll ever see. And the referee's bought it. Maybe has caught him and he's caught his own leg, but that's not a foul, surely. He's tripped himself up. It's a free kick on the court, the uh, left-hand corner of the box as Everton look at it. Dangerous situation. The big men are forward. Uh, Tarkovsky, Onana, Branthwaite, they're all in there. Newcastle have to concentrate here and defend properly. McNeil will take it. With his left foot. Here it comes. Curved into the middle. Dubravka's route to the line and it's a header from Tarkovsky over the bar. Really, Dubravka should have come and claimed that. That's poor goalkeeping from Dubravka. He rooted to his line once again. It's, it's not an, in an area which is too far out for him to come and get either. This is, that's, yeah, and Tarkovsky wins the header over Fabian Scher. Uh, is it Fabian Scher? No, it's Dan Burn, in fact. And just over the bar it goes. Sean Dyche is very disappointed with that. Share has it now. Now Dan Byrne. And he comes down the bottom for Lewis Hall. Pressure from Ashley Young, but back inside for Byrne and back to Dubravka. Dubravka's got time. No pressure on him from anyone. And he plays it wide for Fabian Scher, who's pulled up to the right-hand side. And now Dan Byrne. Newcastle building very patiently. Lewis Hall has it. Looking for a pass, goes to Harvey Barnes. In fact, it's Eddie Anderson who's pulled up this one. This Good ball for Harvey, Harvey Barnes. That's a foul referee. Tarkovsky through the back on Harvey Barnes. And a free kick to Newcastle, halfway through the uh, inside the Everton half. And Newcastle looking to take it quickly, but don't in the end. Bruno takes it square to Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall inside for Anderson. Anderson's robbed there from uh, Onana. Uh, and now it's Ashley Young. Ashley Young trying to get it down the line, but Lewis Hall intercepts. And goes out for throwing to Everton. Not been a great start from Newcastle. The past couple of minutes, three or four minutes, that's how Everton coming into it. Yeah, they've had more of the ball. Uh, I think the referee's done a little bit to help them with not really spotting the right move. Better definitely uh, tripped over his own feet earlier on. Um, we just need to get a bit more, be a bit calmer on the ball, get a few passes together. Anderson goes down the line for Barnes, plays it back to uh, Byrne, and now Fabian's chair in the centre of the pitch. Uh, about 10 yards short of the centre circle in the Newcastle half, square to burn, and now down the bottom for Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall looked for the ball down the line to Barnes, but it was cut off, so he went back to burn and then back to Cher. And Newcastle trying to spread the play across both sides of the pitch. Uh, and Cher's floated the ball over the top. Godfrey gets to it. Or was it Mikolenko? Mikolenko, of course it is. And he clears it, looking for Beto. Foul in the back there, but the referee allows it to go on. And McNeil has it now, running at the Newcastle defence. McNeil's come all the way across the pitch. Uh, Barnes is trying to get with him, but it's gone all out to the 22, who's Godfrey. Little turn from Beto. Tackle comes in. Uh, will be a goal kick, I think. And it is indeed. Good defence from Newcastle. Good defending from Dan Byrne. <clears throat> McNeil was very dangerous there. Cut all the way across the pitch. Gained about three yards, but got it out to uh, Ben Godfrey. It was a good cross. Beto first touch was poor and allowed uh, Longstaff to get a foot in and off. The foot of Beto, it went for a goal kick. But again, we're in signs from Newcastle. That's a great little bit of play from Bruno to Barnes. Square inside, he goes. 
Oh, that's a fantastic bit of football. Bruno has it now. Plays it wide for Emil Kraft, who's coming on the, on the overlap. Oh, it's a great interception from Jared Branthwaite. Corner in Newcastle. Terrific defending from the young Everton centre-half there. Great cross from Kraft. Uh, but if Branthwaite hadn't been there, it was 1-0 Newcastle. Brilliant play from Murphy to set Bruno up. Fantastic ball out to Kraft. Great first-time cross. But Branthwaite in the right place at the right time to cut out. And out for corner it goes, which is going to be taken by... Uh, Lewis Hall. Strangely enough, Lewis Hall's gone to the far side for an interim in corner. We know what a wonderful left foot he's got. He's got Murphy short, but I think this has got to go in the box, surely. He's asking about the 10 yards because the 27, um, Idris Khan again, is not 10 yards away, but Lewis Hall now steps back. He's going to take this corner. It's going to be an inswinger. Movement in the box coming now. Inswinging, exit over the top, looking for Isaac, headed across goal. Oh, it's going to fall for, oh, Bruno's blocked there. It was Murphy, in fact, and then uh, Longstaff played it back to Emil Kraft. Emil Kraft looking for a floaty ball, but it's cut out for Monana as a poor pass. And now it's with uh, Ducore inside then for Idris Gay. Lots of room down here, but luckily enough, oh, it's a short back pass from Longstaff. Now he's OK. He's got it back to Dubravka and Dubravka floats it. Lovely pass out to Murphy on the far side. Long ball from Murphy through the middle, looking for the win of Isak, trying to get him behind Tarkovsky. Tarkovsky's having none of that. And he nods it to Mikolenko. Mikolenko into McNeil. McNeil's got time. He turns. Running at the Newcastle defence. Running at Cher. He goes to Ducore. who's square with him. He's got Ashley Young wide. Here's Ashley Young now. Uh, up against Harvey Barnes. In fact, it's Emil Kraft is on this side of the pitch. Obviously, Lewis Ward is still on the other side of the pitch. But Everton still winning. Lemon Kraft in the left-back position. Ashley Young's with him. Back he goes then to Ben Godfrey. Now inside to Onana. And Onana with a little chip ball looking for Ashley Young again. And back to uh, Godfrey inside for Onana. Triangle football from Everton. Ashley Young. And that's cut out from Bruno. And that'll be a Newcastle throw in. Brilliant play from Bruno. What time are you on at the moment, Billy? 12.39. I'm 12.20 now, so We're not too far back. behind. It's difficult to commentate when I'm uh, way... I was like a minute behind you, so it was, it's impossible for me to... You know, help. We're right. well, yeah, we're, we're closer now, though, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Nineteen seconds will do. <coughs> Lewis Hall with a long throw. A flick off for me. Zach falls to Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes has it. Got a ball inside, but didn't play. It goes to the far side of the pitch to Murphy. Murphy's got Mikolenko coming towards him, uh, but Murphy does try and take Mikolenko on. Goes on the outside of him. Gets a right-footed cross in, looking at the far post. Oh, Harvey Barnes. Good header away though from Ben Godfrey. It'll be a corner ball. Uh, but yes, good move that from Newcastle. Good play from Harvey Barnes. Good cross from Murphy. Uh, well defended by Ben Godfrey at the far post. Nottingham Forest have taken a one-goal lead at home to Fulham. Callum Hudson the doy with a goal. Yeah, nice move that. Harvey Barnes with a nice switch. Murphy happy to take on his man. Harvey Barnes trying to pick up the position at the back post. It's good stuff. Jacob Murphy's going to take the corner from this side. So it looks like it's going to be all in swingers tonight. Uh, the right footer from the left-hand side of the pitch. Swinging it in, looking for a Newcastle head. There's lots of big men in there. Dan Burns in there. Uh, can we get a Newcastle head on it? Mm, no, we can't. And the board is going to fall. Well, well played that from. I'm not sure who that was. The header from Kraft, looking for Murphy. Flipped on for Murphy. Did well. And the ball does fall back in the end to Pickford. It was Bruno that challenged for the ball in the air with Onana. Big height difference there. And of course, Onana won. Sky Sports News have Sue Smith commentating on the, the Newcastle game, strangely enough. Anyway, flick on header from Elliot Anderson. Goes to uh, Onana. Now Anderson again. Ball over the top for Isaac. Isaac's through one on one here. Isaac in the box. Cuts inside. Run three. Isaac's still going. Isaac scores! What a goal! Alexander Isaac with a fantastic bit of play. And Newcastle United have taken the lead in the game here at St James's Park. Grab your granny, it's bingo night. Get your dobbers and your dabbers and your dibbers. 1-0 Newcastle United. Goal music. <laughs> Goal music, let's go. Let's find it. <laughs> we'll get there, guys. There you go. <laughs>
Morato. Yeah, great, great goal. Just a cheeky little dink over the top. The defence switched off. However, there was a lot of work for Isak to do, to be honest. He had three defenders in the box. So he weaved, he, he stepped right twice, made his, made himself some space. Yeah, it was onside. Who played the dink? Was it Was it Anderson? Anderson, Anderson I believe. I Anderson over what... the top. I mean, we He's got Longstaff in support, but absolutely no chance was Isak going to square <laughs> that to Longstaff. He took it himself and it's 1-0. I mean, we, we praised Branthway, but what the hell was he doing there? <laughs> he just dived in to nobody. <laughs> He's like, wasn't there anymore. He lunged without making forward movement. He yeah, lunged it was odd, in, wasn't it? It's like when you jog on the spot. He's lunged on the spot. Well, he's Funny like, has the ball again now, uh, going up against what's well, the ball inside, looking for Murphy. Murphy gets there too, but his touch is horrifically over, over the top, and out of play it goes for a goal kick. But uh, Isaac's looking very, very sharp uh, at Saturday, isn't he? Apparently, it was Barnes that played the ball as well. Barnes, yeah, yeah a lot yeah. sharper. That that's what that was my only gripe about Isak last game. Is I want to see more of that in open play. There it is. That it's from open play straight away. He wants to do it against Everton. Let's be honest. He's, yeah, uh, he's, he's loving it. He's, he's he came out on the right for that passage of play there for, to play a ball into Murphy. So Isak wanted to get on the ball. He looks he looks hungry. He looks fit. Let's just hope we can uh, we can keep him fit. Absolutely, Bruno has it. Uh, gives it to Murphy. Murphy get a bit of pressure from McNeil. Uh, does a little bit of a step over or two. Plays it back to Kraft. Now Bruno. Bruno trying to beat into Sagana Gay. Well, he did brilliantly there, Bruno. Uh, and Newcastle go back to Kraft again. Now it's with Cher. And now Dan Byrne and Newcastle starting to play with a bit of confidence now. Dan Byrne has it. Now Lewis Hall. First time born into Bruno. Back to Byrne. And then back to Lewis Hall again. Lewis Hall's got a little bit of space. Goes down the line for Barnes. Barnes picks it up. And he plays it inside for Longstaff. Longstaff's got room to move into. But straight away, he passes it out to Emil Kraft. Emil Kraft will go back to Longstaff. And Longstaff has it on the halfway line. Looking for a pass. Goes in, into Isaac, who's come deep. Back to Longstaff again. Longstaff ball into Elliot Anderson. Elliot Anderson's got a ball out wide to Lewis Hall if he wants to give it him. Uh, but he doesn't. And Lewis Hall's going to run into the path with Harvey Bad. But Lewis Hall has it now. Back, well, now he's cut inside, Lewis Hall. Bit of skill there on the outside. Still Lewis Hall. Uh, nearly got past Onana, but Onana took out a long leg and took the ball away. Uh, free kick to Everton, foul in the back of uh, Beto from Dan Byrne, and it'll be a free kick to Newcastle United. I need to take that off to our sports news because I'm getting spoilers. I don't want to see them. <laughs> oh, runners. We just have runners. There's more energy. Anderson on the pitch and Lewis Hall on the pitch. Anderson taking it on the half turn and just driving at people. It's what we need. There's more, not only is there more physicality, but there's more energy. We're, we're happy to move the ball forward. Even Longstaff looks more confident in this team because there are more runners. Yes, I 100% agree. Yeah, it's been a fantastic first 18 minutes, give or take a couple of minutes where Everton had a lot of the ball. But at the minute, it's a free kick to Everton, which Jordan Pickford will take. It's a long hoof down the pitch looking for an Everton head. Uh, Fabian Cher gets head to it, but nods it backwards. Now it's Bruno. Good ball, though, to Harvey Barnes. Barnes pushes it past uh, Godfrey and looks rather quick there, Barnes, but he still has it. Godfrey's still with him. Godfrey goes down the line for Anderson. Good run from Anderson. That's a free kick. Terrible tackle from Onana on Anderson and he's caught him on the ankle there. Anderson's down. Referee's having a word with Onana. That's a poor, poor tackle. Nowhere near the ball. Straight on the ankle. And Anderson, hopefully, is okay. Yeah, terrible tackle that. Studs up on the ankle. Hopefully he's okay. Well, there's a break here for some reason. Don't know what's going on here. The Everton players, well, everyone's heading for the sidelines for some strange reason. I don't know why. All the Everton team have come to their physio. It looks like the Newcastle team. Had, so what's going on here? Strange. It's not near really half time. <laughs> what have they all got there? They've all got they've got Everton players have opened up a little bag. That's not I hope that's not snus. <laughs> oh, it is. Is it snus? Unless it's just some kind of like brown energy ball concoction of some sort that they're having. Nineteen minutes into the game. It's been why are they what's what why are they doing Oh it? it's a Ramadan. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, fair enough. That that makes perfect sense. Okay. Yeah, they've got to break their fast. I guess technically it's it's sundown, is it? Yeah. 
I don't know how those players do it. I don't know how they play professional level sport with basically nothing. It's 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 incredible. So the Islamic people on the pitch, so Nano, I guess, is one of them, and Ducore. Hopefully, they've had a, a, a whole chicken or something, and uh, they, they can't win anymore. That'd be that'd be fantastic for us. I think they just have something a bit more, <laughs> a bit more, a bit of glucose, a bit of energy. <laughs> Maybe a Mars bar. Or so give, give them give them ten minutes, and Everton will start perking up now. Yeah, interesting. So yes, of course, it's, we're approaching Eid and um, Ramadan, not far from being at the end. But I always find it strange how Ramadan's always in the, the months where there's the most sunlight. <laughs> it must be purgatory for them. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's on purpose. Maybe, maybe that's the point. I'm maybe. Not sure. Anyway, Lewis Hall with a free kick for the foul. It's a, nicely curved, looking for the head. Well, it, it, it hit, hit the head of. Uh, just again, again, he's motoring after that, and God, oh, blimey, physical challenge then between uh, Eddie Anderson, who's just been down his ankle, and um, just a dark gun again, uh, and no court was given by either. Everton have the ball with Onana, sent to the park, and just a gun again. Great tackle though, coming in there from rescue the free kick. That's pathetic. Great tackle from Long Suffer, and the rescue the free kick. Unbelievable. Harrington's got that one wrong. Long punt down the middle again, looking for... Well, it's a great header from Lewis Hall, uh, but can't be kept in from Harvey Barnes. It's a throw into Everton in the Newcastle, deep in the Newcastle half, actually, about 10 yards away from the penalty area. Ben Godfrey will take it. A good defence up from Lewis Hall to get the ball away. And Everton come back to Tarkovsky. Now it's with Onana. Pressure coming on in from Bruno. Back to Tarkovsky goes, and all the way back to T-Rex. Let's the ball go back into his area and then just gets his foot behind it and hoofs it. And Emil Craft wins the ball in the air, nods it down to Murphy. Murphy inside for Longstaff. Longstaff's got a play with his back, plays it back to Fabian Scher. And ball all the way across the pitch to Lewis Hall, who's got some space to win into. And he approaches the halfway line, gives it to Harvey Barnes. We'll go back to Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall back to Dan Byrne. Control play from Newcastle United. Now Fabian Scher. And ball down the line for Kraft. Kraft has it now. Cuts inside. Looks for the ball down the outside of Mikalenko. But he cuts it out. And it's a throw into Newcastle United, which Emil Kraft will take. Not much movement here for Emil Kraft, I have to say. Longstaff's making a token effort now. And receives the ball from the throw-in. Longstaff back to Kraft. It's a poor touch from Longstaff. And Everton can clear it. Beto's beating the air by Cher. Longstaff has it now. And he goes back to Cher. And Cher can start the play again for Newcastle United. Looking for a long ball here, I think. And there he goes. He's floating it to the far side, looking for the run of Barnes, but it's way too far inside for him. Pickford allows the ball into the area and picks up comfortably. 23-37 on the clock. Uh, Newcastle United won Everton nil. Did you change the banner stats? I did indeed, yeah. Good man. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking good statistically as well. 0.82 XG, so we're deservedly 1-0 up. Six and nearly possession as well. Ooh, Everton really playing with fire there. Uh, Godfrey gets a foot to it, and Hall manages to vote it out for throwing to Everton. But there was a bit of a scary moment at the back four there for Everton, where Onana got involved and slightly under hit his pass and almost got cut out, but they got away with it. Godfrey plays it down the line with, from the throwing. Good header from Dan Byrne, and out for another throwing. Again, Hall gets the header this time. It's a good header too, straight to the feet of Anderson. Him and Bruno ne nearly get in each other's way. Hall plays it to Anderson. Anderson's fouled by Onana. Silly foul to give. He was going nowhere there. Uh, but allows Newcastle out then without any pressure. Really poor foul to give away there. And Bruno's going to take it. In fact, he leaves it for Lewis Hall. He plays it back to Dubravka. Pressure coming in now from Ducore, but Dubravka's got plenty of time just to roll it out to Longstaff. Longstaff to Bruno. He's got Ducore at his back. Plays it square to Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall Cuts inside, back inside for Bruno. Nice ball. He's got a run on the far side. Kraft, plenty of space for him. Bruno spotted him too. And here's Kraft. Oh, his chest. Oh, dear me. Was he was he fouled there in the air? Possibly not. The chest of Kraft took it out of play, but it's a, it's a great ball for Bruno. Let's have a look at this now. It's not I'm in the air. It now. It's not in the air anyway, so it's not a foul. It's, he's just come down with the, his jump. Great vision from Bruno. Unfortunately, Kraft couldn't control it. If he could have done, he'd have been on, in on goal. Uh, but that a... was a great ball from Bruno, wasn't it? Indeed. 
long goal kick from Pickford and then this short stuff from Everton. It's uh, it's 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 old fashioned Wimbledon. It really is. Bit of head tennis in the middle of the park. It's with Onana plays it square. Then to uh, Mikalenko down the line for O'Neill. McNeil, not O'Neill. Uh, Bruno robs uh, Idris again again, and Eddie Anton's motoring through the middle. Now to Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes can cut inside it, can he? Oh, he didn't try and cut inside. He just went straight away with his right and and tried to bend it. It was blocked. Now Anderson. Anderson has it on this left-hand flank. Cuts inside, right-footed cross. It's a good one. Missed the first defender, cleared away. Anderson's first pitch is not very good, but he still has control of the ball. Uh, he's got Ashley Young at his back. He goes all the way back to Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall steps inside, looking for a pass across, but he goes back to Byrne, and Byrne will play it down the bottom here for Bruno. Bruno, bit of trickery, gives it to Lewis Hall. A little one-two. Got Ashley Young hassling him, but he plays it back to Byrne. Now Lewis Hall, pressure on him. Uh, Newcastle maintain possession really nicely. Fabian Share has it in the centre of the Newcastle half. And now Dan Byrne, Beto giving token pressure. And they're playing with him, really. Byrne and Share, And Share has got some room to move into now. And move it into he does. Ball into Isaac, you come deep. Poor touch from Isaac there. Gives the ball away. And Beto's going to be fouled. There's going to be a free kick to Everton. The ref's played on. Strange one, that. Looking good on that left-hand side, Anderson being really, really strong, retaining the ball, and then it goes back out to Lewis Hall, who can is just so technically solid, he can just recycle it and then Bruno getting involved. It's lovely. There's a nice balance to this team at the moment. I agree. I agree. Fabian Cher has it at the moment, and he plays it wide for Emil Kraft. Emil Kraft's got some room to move into. Mikalenko goes out to him. Emil Kraft comes back, looking for a pass backwards. He goes back to Cher. Bruno comes short for him, picks it up with Idris Garner Gay or Ducore actually at his back, but he plays it back to Cher. Cher has been allowed to move as far as he wants. He could have a dig here if he wants to. Plays it inside, little one, two. Bruno has it now. Bruno comes wide down the bottom for Elliot Anderson. non picks the ball up, Anderson. Going at the two defenders. Puts inside one. Back to Bruno. Lewis Hall's out wide for him if he wants him. Here's Lewis Hall. Takes it on his right foot, controls it, and then gives it in his left. And now Lewis Hall trying to play a little bit. Oh, it's a foul there, referee. Referee's allowed to play to go on. Ridiculous decision. Uh, ball through the middle. Everton on the counter here. Isaac trying to defend. Is brilliantly well. Gets the ball to uh, Longstaff. He plays a lovely pass into Murphy. Murphy's got Elliot Anderson in the middle. Murphy's going himself. Murphy distance. Oh, blast over the bar. Probably selfish there, Jacob Murphy. Yeah, he had men in the box, but he went for glory himself. Uh, and over the top of the bar, it went. 28 minutes on the clock. Still 1-0 Newcastle. Stato. Well, just a fun fact for you. Uh, Ashley Young's only three years shy. of being double the age of um, Anderson and Lewis Hall combined, which is hilarious. <laughs> It wasn't far over the top, that. Yeah, good there from Murphy. Anderson getting fouled in the build-up to that about 20 seconds before. A little bit frustrated we're not getting the calls on that. But yeah, that I guess good. the ref's letting the game flow. So we've had a few, they've had a few. Yeah, I guess so. Pickford again with this long, long kick. Dan Byrne, majestic leap, wins the ball, nods it down to uh, Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes got nowhere to go here, uh, but we just get a throw in, or should get a throw in. The referee's give it to Everton, or the linesman has. which is taken by uh, Godfrey, back to Onana, and then back to James Tarkovsky. He goes all the way back to Pickford. I'm guessing it's going to be a massive lump down the pitch. There he goes. Lewis Hall doesn't win that one in the air. And Byrne is cut. Is, well, he's snagged up by Beto here. Beto's going for goal. Oh, dear me. He sliced that uh, out for goal kick. Come off the outside of his boot. And there's a pretty poor shot from Beto. 29-13 on the clock. First time that really we've we've looked as if they had a chance of, of getting in on us. First time Lewis Hall has lost an aerial duel uh, to Godfrey. Beto come inside Burn, but his shot was absolutely woeful. Oh, yeah, I've just seen that. For some reason, you're now 30 seconds ahead of me. I don't know how you, you're getting faster. I'm not sure because I haven't had any stoppages. I'm, it's very confusing. But yeah, that, that was an atrocious shot. Um Again, I think I think Lewis Hall, maybe that's something he needs to add to his game is his aerial duels. I've seen him lose a few so far this game. Yeah. Um it, it's caused, you know, letting one cross in, a few aerials. Not not the yeah, I'm just not used to us losing aerial drills on that left left side due to Dan Burn. So yeah. you know, you do yeah. lose things not having Burn there, but we benefit a lot of having Lewis Hall being a, a quicker and more technical player. Well, here is Lewis Hall now. Plays it down the line for Barnes. Barnes has got Bruno. Bruno's got a man on him straight away, little dink with the outside of his foot. Tries to get past the Jessica on again. The rest give a free kick to Everton there when Bruno has been pulled back. Ridiculous. Bruno questions the decision. It was a... Oh. Yeah, very, very, very poor decision that from the referee. Straight away. There you go. He's got him, he's got him now and he's he's pushed him off the ball there. 
Yeah, it's free kitchen to castle that. The referees give it the other way. Unbelievable. Idrissa Garner gave us like a limpet to Bruno there. Bruno's got to be careful, of course. Doesn't want to be cut. Anyway, the free kick's gone in. Oh, they've all missed it. And it's cleared away from Longstaff in the end for a throw in to Everton. Looked a bit dicey at one point there when Tarkovsky won the ball. He's now heading back to his centre half position. Uh, Idrissa Garner gay crosses it in, looking for Ashley Young on his far side, nodded away from Lewis Hall. Can Barnes get there first? He can. Does really well there, Barnes. Plays a nice ball too to Bruno. Bruno's gone inside too, and his ball to uh, Harvey Barnes is woeful, actually. Didn't quite make the contact he wanted to with it, and out of play it went. Tarkovsky back to Pickford. He might play it short here to Branthwaite, is he? Yes, he did. Branthwaite has it short, and now inside for Onana. Everton tried to play football for the first time in the match, really, out wide to Mikolenko. And here comes the long ball from him. In, out, well, that looks like offside, but Kraft's got better up against him. Better uh, cross from Beto is awful. Lewis Wall coming on the cover and knocked it out for a throw in. 31 and 42 on the clock. Still 1 0 Newcastle. It's been pretty comfortable so far for Newcastle United, Sato. Yeah, it's pretty smooth sailing. I mean, we're 66% possession. Their chances have been pretty poor quality so far. Very awful shots. Uh, one from Takori, one from Beto, just nowhere near. Um, we're dominating in, in well in every regard: passes, territory, possession. Six shots to three, and and where it counts as well on the scoreboard, one nil up. So we just need to keep pushing, keep trying to be maybe a little bit more clinical with the amount of chances we've had. Um, and if we do maintain this pace, we sh we should be three or four nil up by the end of the game. But Everton will come back into this and we'll get chances. Brilliant bit of defensive play from Bruno Gino Moise at the end. Uh, right on his corner flag to get a goal kick off Mikolenko. It was really, really clever play from the young man. It looks like Calvert Lewin's coming out to warm up for some reason. Um, anyway, the ball is with Dubravka at his feet. He goes into Longstaff. Longstaff back to Dubravka. And now Cher. No pressure on Cher whatsoever. Inside he goes for Longstaff. First time ball out wide for Kraft. Kraft will go back to Cher. And Cher plays it in for Murphy. Lovely pass from Murphy to Byrne. Creates some space. Now Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall wide for Barnes. Could be a first time ball in for Isaac. There's one two with Isaac. Uh, to Harvey Barnes. I don't think he'll get that. Yeah, very comfortable for Newcastle United at the minute. Nick, uh, Forest a two up on um Did I read that right? That it's 23 appearances since Calvert Lewin scored. Don't say things like that, stats. Surely that can't be right. Mm, I don't know. Did he score against us? I don't know if I can't remember. It can't be that long, surely. Anyway, ball chipped down the line, looking for Beto. He's got Cher at his back and he plays it for Hall. Good calm defending that from Cher. Hall has it with Young at his back. He's under pressure here, Hall. Poor clearance, actually. Falls to Onana, but Bruno gets a fantastic foot in. Really, really good play. Goes past uh, Ducore as well. Long ball looking for the run of Isaac. Branthwaite's luckily there. Oh, Murphy's picked it up. Newcastle on the run here. Isaac's one-on-one -on -one with Branthwaite in the box. Little chip looking for Anderson. Anderson squares it back. He should have shot. He didn't. Is it Anderson or is it Longstaff? I can't remember who it was, but Godfrey cleared out. It was Longstaff. Of course, he went to pieces in the box. Uh, but it'll be a corner to Newcastle United. Fantastic play from Bruno to set it up. Uh, poor play from Mikolenko. Murphy robbed him. Played it to Isaac. I thought Isaac was going to go for goal there, but he tried to dink it over to Longstaff. Longstaff took it on his wrong foot and had to try and cross it back in the middle. And Godfrey got a, a defensive foot mm. in. I've just seen that. I don't blame Longstaff for that. that he'd, got, no. he'd got a player covering him. It was very tricky. He got very minimal time to react. He just tried to lump it back centrally. Probably the right choice. Um, Isaac tried to pick someone out. I think he took a deflection. We do get a corner anyway. It's an Tough one. Ball. Amazing from Bruno, by the way, in the build-up. It was. And head over the top from Dan Byrne. It will be a goal kick uh, to Everton. Yeah, it was a brilliant bit of play from Bruno to rob the player of the ball deep and then have the you know the wherewithal to look for the pass. That's a corner ball, that is. That's off run for eight. I don't believe the referees give a goal kick for that. But there you go. Thirty-five and twenty on the clock. 
Newcastle have the ball with Isaac. Oh, it's a poor pass from Isaac. Could have put Murphy in. Overhits it by three or four yards and Pickford came out and picked it up. But Isaac is looking sharp with the ball at his feet. Apart from his passing at times has been a bit iffy, but God, he's scored a fantastic goal, so we can't say a lot really. Burn and Burn's beaten actually by Beto in the air there. Cher has to come in. Doesn't make the word header either, but Bruno's covering. Falls for Ashley Young. Cher picks up the poor pass for Young. And he can clear the ball with ease if he wants to. Plays a ball into for Barnes. Little flip from Barnes doesn't work. And Onana can bring Everton forward again with a bit of pressure. McNeil, wide to Mikolenko. The halfway inside the Newcastle United half here. McNeil again. Onana, backwards he goes to Branthwaite. Square for Tarkovsky. Tarkovsky plays it short for Idris Aganagay. Idris Aganagay to Onana. Idris Aganagay again. And square to Jared Branthwaite. Got a little bit of space to move into. Long stuff to meet him. McNeil picks it up in the middle of the park. Uh, long stuff at his back. Onana now with being matched up by Bruno. Onana looking for a pass through the middle, looking for Ashley Young. Good tackle from Lewis Hall. Takes the ball clean off him. And Newcastle can break with uh, Eddie Anderson. Wide for Harvey Barnes. He's got, gone past his risk again. He's got another player coming towards him now, Tarkovsky. And Tarkovsky steps in and puts out for a throw in. Good move from Newcastle. Good break. Well played, Lewis Hall as well. Will be a throw in to Newcastle United. Nearly 37 on the clock. Still 1 0 Newcastle. And there's a player down for Newcastle. Always worrying times when we see a player down. Chris Wood scored the second goal. It's Lewis Hall, in fact. Oh, good grief. Mm. Oh, God, I don't know if we've got anybody to play, but it's going to have to be dumb it. Please. Well, Eddie doesn't look too concerned. He's, he's holding his, 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 his tummy. Chest area. So whether he's took an elbow to the chest... Eddie Players Hull. who have played or can play that position on the bench. Paul Dummett, Matt Ritchie, Alex Murphy. I would probably say Dummett's going to be the go-to choice. I don't think he's ever going to use Ritchie again in a, def a defensive role, if I'm honest. He's getting to his feet, Lewis Hall. It might just be an impact injury. I think he's okay. The crowd looked terrified. I'm not surprised. They do, they do look terrified, yeah. It's, it's, well, it's, it's, it's battered partner syndrome, isn't it? You know? Lewis will have to go off for 30 seconds. Of course he does. Maybe just slightly winded. But I think he's going to go back on the pitch anyway. Yeah, it looks like he's fine. Yeah, he, just said, he just said, I'm okay to the physio as he's walked off. So well, That means nothing now, does it? <laughs> Sam Botman said that. Well, they all said it. <laughs> Looks like maybe he's had a bit of, you know, blow to the to the abs or something. He was just trying to rotate yeah. and stretch a bit, a bit sore. Slightly winded. It's a Newcastle United throw in anyway. Uh, they didn't put the ball out, so he shouldn't throw the ball back to him. And it's gone down the line for Barnes. And we'll get another throw in right on the corner flag. Foot in for Ashley Young. Elliot Allenson asking if Lewis Hall can come back on the pitch yet. Uh, clearly not, because he's not on taking the throw in, but... Newcastle United need a bit of movement. Barnes provides it, and well, it's going to be another throw in the same area. Or does he give a corner this time? He may have given a corner. No, still a throw in. Right next to the corner flag to Bruno. Bruno with a, oh, <laughs> a bit of majestic play. Uh, but in the end, he's robbed by Ducore and a foot in from Eddie Anderson, who gets, takes another blow to the ankle from Ducore. And he's he's hurt. I think Lewis Ward's back on the pitch now. He is indeed. Ducori again going in on the ankle with a, with, a, with 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 stood high. The referee did nothing about it. Anyway, long throw down the line from Godfrey, looking for uh, Ducori. Uh, this is dangerous for Newcastle because well, the three against two at the first a slight moment, but they've delayed it. Beto has it, looking very lively at this precise moment in time. Beto going up against Lewis Hall. Uh, Barnes gets back or Anderson gets back. Sorry. Trying to play inside for McNeil. Uh, they were looking, he was looking for a free kick there. McNeil didn't get one. Oh, dear me. That's a terrible tackle for Ashley Young. It's not Ashley Young. It's Beto. On Emil Kraft. And Emil Kraft's down injured now. Terrible tackle. That, that's a yellow card. It should be. All day long. He's sliding in from distance. I have no idea again. That's a yellow card. It has to be a yellow card. 
Yeah, that's 100% a yellow. That was awful. That was a proper striker's tackle, that was. He's not giving From it behind. Up, yeah, reckless. Terrible from the free, that. I'm not sure on what planet. That's not a yellow. It's from behind. It's late. He's got none of the ball, all of the man. It's pretty obvious. Very, very lenient from the referee there to just give him a talking to. As if he's going to learn. He'll just do that again. Yeah, next time. Time update. Him. Time. What uh, What have you got on the clock, Billy? 41 minutes, exactly. I've caught you up again, somehow. Anyway, Everton have it. Bruno nearly robs it. And then he does. Ball for Isaac. Isaac going up against Branthwaite. Out on the right flank. Ball is but he's slightly overhits it. Murphy could get there, but Tarkovsky steps in, gets a big foot on it, and that's gone out of play. But the referee's played on. Ball is with Emil Kraft at the moment. Ball in then for Longstaff. Sean Longstaff looking for a pass. Well, that's an awful pass. And it's cut out from Ashley Young. Ashley Young is now approaching, looking for a ball in behind Dan Bernabeto. Lewis Hall should get there first, and indeed does. Lays it back for Dubravka. He's got to come out. He does come out and gives it to Lewis Hall. Well played, Martin Dubravka. Now Lewis Hall with a little chip. What's a fantastic pass to Harvey Barnes, who can't control it. It's actually uh, Elliot Anderson. <laughs> Onana has it now. Dan Byrne let the ball bounce then. Should have done so. And Ashley Young's in, but he played, got, turns backwards. Back to McNeil. McNeil with three men around him. Edge of the box throw Nani. He can have a shot from distance. Instead, he went for a ball for Ducore. Good save, Dubravka. Lucky that for Newcastle. As poor defending from Dan Byrne, allowing the ball to bounce. Uh, but in the end, it was to no avail as Dubravka took the, took the shot. This is the first time Everton played a little bit of football in the box. Beto and uh, Ducore. Ducore ended up with a shot, but it was straight into the arms of Martin Dubravka. And luckily enough for us, it remains at 1 0 to Newcastle. Chasing shadows there, nobody covering the edge of the box. Longstaff kind of rooted. Yeah. I mean, Burn Burn wasn't terrible there. To be fair, he 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 defended okay. He followed his man. His man was out of the box, so he'd done his job by that point. Um, it's just about they let two or three passes go through and, and a shot fly off from just outside the box, which is dangerous. Yeah, it's Longstaff and Bruno should have done a little bit be better there at closing down the passing options. Ball from uh, Longstaff into. Uh... Murphy, who's come inside. Now it's Isaac got a ball out wide if you can see him or just got intercepted. Now it's with Byrne. Now it's with uh, Bruno. Back to Cher. Plenty of openings here for Newcastle United in the Everton back four. That's a terrible pass from Cher. Straight onto Mikalenko's chest. And Mikalenko turns away from Murphy and plays it back. It's actually Isaac on that right flank. And the Pickford goes long. This time it's a header from Kraft. Bruno up against Onana. And yeah, there's only one winner in that contest. Poor header from Onana to Dan Byrne. Now it's with Longstaff. Bit of skill from Longstaff. And he's fouled. But ref he does get the ball away and the referee plays advantage. Lewis Hall has it now. Now Longstaff again. That's a poor pass from Longstaff. Straight into the path of Idris Sagana Gay. Now Onana. Newcastle starting to lose one or two battles in the middle of the park at the minute. It's concerning. Cut out there from Fabian Cher. And Newcastle can come on the break now with Anderson. Anderson approaching the, uh, the Everton penalty area. Goes wide for Murphy. Murphy matched up by... Mikalenko comes inside for Bruno. Bruno's got Patricia Garner gay right at his tail. Back to Murphy he goes. Gives it to Bruno again. This time we've got Anana matching him up. He goes wide for Emil Crafts. Newcastle trying to find a gap again. There's only a minute to go of normal time. It's first half. Anderson involved. Now Kraft. Back to Longstaff. Longstaff has Bruno square if he wants to go there. He might go for deeper. He does. He goes to share. And Newcastle can start from deep again. This time Everton a bit more. Disciplined in defence. Good ball over for Murphy. To find a little bit of space. Murphy will go wide, I think. No, he doesn't. He comes inside. Bruno has it. 20 yards out. Ball looking for Barnes on his far side. Can Barnes get there for Pickford? He does. Bruno has it in the penalty area. Hall. Hall trying to beat four players. He's, got, he's doing brilliantly to get to the ball. And gets a fantastic cross in. Oh, far post. Murphy! Brilliant save, Pickford. Murphy on the volley. Pickford did fantastically well to block the shots. The ball hasn't gone out of play. Newcastle still on the attack. Cross comes in. Uh, Tarkovsky gets his head to it this time. Can Murphy get there again? He can. He's fouled. But the referee didn't do anything about it. Got out for throw in to Everton. Four minutes of injury time, Stato. Oh, yeah. I mean, Murphy did well there. He got It was good <coughs> contact with the ball. He hit it strong and low. He couldn't have done much more. Excellent from Lewis Hall to recycle that. Lovely floated cross into the centre of the pitch. I think Pickford should have come and claimed that, to be completely honest. But excellent from Lewis Hall. Brilliant from Bruno, as always. 
Um, and I can't really fault fault Murphy there. He did the right thing. It was just yeah, a good save from Pickford. Good tackle from yeah. Kraft, but the ball Cracking doesn't technique. where it's gone out of play. Will be a throw into Newcastle United uh, off Beto. We're nearly a minute through the four we've added on time. Uh, Fabian Share has it in a minute. That's his. Is it Fabian Share? It's Dan Byrne, isn't it? Now it's Fabian Share. Well, he's on the left hand side, see? On the right hand side, sorry. That's why I thought it was Share, but it isn't. It's Byrne. Now it's Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall back to Byrne and back to Dubravka. If Everton decided to put a bit of pressure on, I think there's a. There's a mistake or two in his <laughs> in this ball playing. Yeah, Dubravka. sloppy passing. Longstaff has in the last ten minutes fallen asleep again. Um, passing has been awful, stumbling over himself. It's uh, he needs to perk up a little bit. Bruno plays a free kick that he won in, in the penalty area and gives it to Murphy. Why did he comes to Lewis Hall approaching the halfway line? Go straight to Harvey Barnes. No, it's Eddie Anderson. Cross or mighty. I wish I'd stop changing positions. <laughs> Here's Bruno. Looking for a ball over the top for Isaac. It's overhit and into the arms of Pickford. <laughs> Isaac challenged Pickford as he kicked that. <laughs> anyway, this could be dangerous. Burns let it bounce this time and gets ahead to it. Uh, calculate a good ball from Hall to Anderson. Anderson running at Onana. He's got long stuff square, but he's gone for the ball through the middle looking for Isaac. It's a good ball too. Isaac has it with Brantho at his back. Also Godfrey there. Little flick with the outside of his foot to, 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 to who is it? Anderson. Now oh, Isaac picks up again. Isaac tries some assistance just over the bar. Fantastic play, Isaac. Really, really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate that was to kind of get the ball in such a lovely little flick with the outside of his boot. Anderson did well. Then Isaac picked up the ricochet. Oh, it's about a yard over the top and pretty central. Pickford probably had it covered, but it's a great effort. Oh. Yeah, he's gone for a camera save there, hasn't he, uh, Jordan Pickford? It, it was great. An absolutely incredible ball over the top by Elliot Anderson. Who I think, it, yeah, it was Anderson who played that ball. Magnificent. Yeah, Good strength that. again from Barnes. And yeah. I don't know how they're giving him so much space. There's three players in front of him, but somehow he finds the space to shoot. And it was just a whisker over the bar as well. Newcastle's um, fourth corner. So in it comes from Murphy now looking for Newcastle head. He nearly finds one. Oh, it nearly fell to... Uh, Elliot Anderson at the far post and Pickford just grabbed it in the nick of time. And he's actually really hassling Pickford here. <laughs> uh, I love Pickford's Isaac hassling Pickford in the in the previous. Kicked it long. Well. This time it got to uh, Beto. Back he goes to Mikalenko. He turns away from Longstaff and plays it square for Onana. Onana has Murphy in front of him. Uh, but now it's back with Mikalenko with Longstaff at his tail. He plays it back to Idrissa Garner Gay, just in the centre circle, just approaching into the Newcastle half now. In the final minute of the first half, uh, it's with Ben Godfrey. And then back to James Tarkovsky. Tarkovsky's a lump this. There he goes, looking for Beto over the top. Should fall into the arms of Dubravka. It does. Dubravka bowls out to Bruno. He's got a bit of space to move into. Bruno it, approaching the centre circle. Where's he going to go with this pass? He's been fantastic this first half, Bruno. Plays it square for Kraft. Kraft goes wide. It's a poor pass from Kraft. It's gone straight out of play. And it'll be a throw into Everton. And I think that may be half time. Yeah, nice and careful. I, I really like our shape off the ball as well. We've dropped back into that four five one, but it looks it looks better. And then when it, when things broke, Bruno dropped off. Everybody moved into the right place. We look far more disciplined. We look like everybody knows what they're doing. It, it's much more promising. Yeah, fantastic first half performance. Let's do a few comments. I mean, there's seven hundred. We're not nearly two thousand in the stream, so it's a uh, it's good stuff. It really is good stuff. Forest are three up now, apparently. Uh, Sam should be here in a minute or two. Uh, we shall see. We shall see first half in. stats. Yeah, let's have some stats from the first half, Sato. What we got? I think it's pretty dominating for us, I would imagine. Yeah, so XG is 1.37 to 0.47. So we are almost a full a full goal ahead of them on XG, which makes sense because we're one nil up. 62% possession. 10 shots to four, four shots on target to their one, three big chances created from us to their one. But uh, a few people saying we should be 2-0 up. We definitely could be. We've done enough for it, really. Um, four count, four fouls committed to six, uh, so 10 fouls total in this game. I think the ref has let a lot go, though. And we've had four corners and they have had none. So mm. very, very promising data so far. No yellow cards as yet. Here is some now. Let's have our impressions of the first half. Sam, we won up. 
How are you feeling? Ah, good. I'm feeling really good, actually. Yeah. Um, enjoyed that. Um, I thought we were looking quite good. A uh, bit, bit sloppy towards the the end of the the first half, I think. But uh, more energy, more passion, more footwork is what I like to see. Yeah, it's been brilliant, hasn't it? I mean, where is it? I've just seen a great comment here from uh, Shane, who says, "There you go. He's like he's in the mood. Not a better striker in the league on his day." I agree with that. He's been well, outstanding. He's 19 first, in all competitions now. Yeah, it's been brilliant first half, Sam, hasn't he? He looks really up for it tonight. Yeah, do you know what? For me, I, th I think he's been more mobile. Um, like, mm. and, and, and we're seeing those chances from open play as well. So it's great to see that he can do it. Obviously, first goal, which was great. Another great shot from him as well. I, I, I think he's just he, he, he's just getting more service from there. We've got Anderson in, who I think is doing a great job as well. The impact in under two minutes, great attack. Uh, Barnes as well, uh, and another assist as well. Great. Brilliant stuff. Got some super chats to do here. We've got a thousand Japanese yen from Edward Gaunt. He says, just get the win. Back to a limited bench. A win today will be huge. Couldn't agree more. We've got a 499 from Kieran. After Pickford's first international mistake, I hope he's not at full confidence. Then we have Jurgen Anderson, who's been a member for 11 months. Anderson is kind of Joe Light. I hope he keeps it up. And we have a new member also, Doug Thompson. Welcome to the Tune Review community, Doug. Uh, thanks ever so much for that. Let's talk about Anderson, uh, Sam. He's been fantastic this first half, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Really good, really, really good. So pleased to see him get the start as well. Uh, as I said when I first came on, like that, the, the impact that he had in in under two minutes, and it's just, I don't know. I'm feeling a lot of energy. There's there's a there's a lot of attack. I think there's a lot of more mobility in the side as well. This game, uh, I, I don't know. There seems there, there seems to be a lot more cohesion between all of the players, which is like really refreshing to see as well. So I'm really pleased with the first half. Brilliant. Niall says, when we move the ball quickly, we look great, but when we dilly-dally, we make mistakes. More amongst the back four, isn't it? There have, there have been a couple of occasions where you think, oh, get rid of it, get rid of it. But we've managed to get through without conceding. So, and that really, Everton look a bit powder up front, don't they? If I'm honest, um, Daniel Grail has been quite impressed with Lewis Hall. What have you thought of Lewis Hall, Sam? Oh, it Love him. I mean, to 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 be fair, I, I I'm probably a bit a, a bit gooey eyed because I'm so pleased to see him get the start. But he's uh, he's he's proven his worth, though, isn't he? Just proven his worth. He's just up and down the flank, so much energy, great sort of tackle. He seems to have mm. a really good like foresight and perception of the ball and where it's going to be. But I've noticed he's actually really really got a great understanding of where he's expecting the other players to be and he's there to just intercept straight away. So I, I, I'm i really enjoying seeing him play. Do you know what I've liked about him? It's it's just, it, it, you do lose a little bit in the aerial battles, but we have not lost that much. But it's his technical ability. He's such so good yes. with the ball is at his feet, isn't he? That left foot, yeah. some of the passes he's played today. Been like, yeah. outrageously good. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Him and Barnes combining and then Anderson, those three. It's a nice little triangle, isn't it? Mm. Um, how are the lads, Suzanne? Seems to be making chances, so come on, the boys. Oh, yeah, I think there's more goals in it for us, I've got to be honest. Uh, Tottenham won the look as it stands. We're in the Europa Conference spots. Uh, Isaac loves to play against the Scouts. Malcolm he does. Yeah, that's a, a bit of a comment here about Sean Longstaff. He says he's stinking the place out, unfortunately. Has he been that bad? Uh, do you know what I think? I think he's got. I think he's got a bit of a tarnished rap now. If I, if I'm completely fair, um, th there's been times where he's looked okay, um, but ultimately I believe he loses composure um, and he just lacks precision in passing. And I think when we see that lack of precision and when he loses mm -hmm. the ball, it, 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 he's. I, I find that he's fine positionally, but actually when he loses composure. It, it, it seems like that midfield really gets affected by it and there's only so much that Bruno can do to sort of babysit. I agree with that. I do agree with that, definitely. And Bruno, this first half, though, it's been a masterclass, hasn't it? Oh, absolutely class. Um, I think the, the pass to, to, from Bruno to Kraft was absolutely wonderful. I don't know if you saw that, the, the lovely ball play that he had at 20, 25 minutes. It was just magnificent as ever as we come to expect yeah great stuff he's doing little flicks with the outside of his foot getting them over the top of people coming close to him as well you know he's, 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 all the yeah he's coming out and, and, and do you know what billy I, I i don't know if you noticed this I, I, um 
but I feel when he's got more confidence in those around him, he has more space to be creative and and, and do things like that and, and really show his quality. I think there is so much to be said for having, having real quality players around you because he can only be his top class self when he's got the confidence in the people around him. And I think we've sort of upped the ante with today, taking Willock out, getting Anderson and Hall on as well. I think it's really up the tempo. And to be fair, I think Murphy's been good as well. What do you, what do you think about Murphy? Yeah, I think he's been excellent. Yeah, he's, he's not stayed on the flank either, has he? He's come inside looking for the ball. He's given yes. something to think, think about the defence because he's not always in the one position. Yeah, yeah. And, he was, and lucky not to score, actually. He had, he had a nice shot over the bar and that volley that we've got to. He certainly did. And, you know, playing devil's advocate here, you know, I think the the, the shot that he took, the second one, was selfish. Um, I don't know if you saw, but Isaac was absolutely screaming in open space for the ball, uh, going for glory there, perhaps. Um, but, yeah, other than that, I think he's had some great crosses in. Yeah. You've been impressed with Murphy's style. Um, yeah, he's been, he's been solid. He's quite happy to take on his fullback. Um, he's been energetic. His technique's been great in in crossing, um, in in that shot he had that volley he tried. Yeah, he's been really really solid. Uh, yeah, um, New Jersey Geordie says I think Murphy's been awesome so far. Lucky not to be on the score sheet, which is I agree with that actually. Yeah, it was a great save from Pickford. Yeah, what do you think Eddie Howe said to him at half time, uh, Sam? Do you think it's more the same, or will he expect a little bit more from certain players? I think absolutely he's going to expect a little bit more, but I would be disappointed if if he didn't. But I think right now we look good. Um, I, I think we were we we were sloppy and it was getting a little bit scrappy. Um, towards the end of the first half, but I think a little bit of a little bit of a break will definitely put some energy back into the legs. So I think more of the same, more press, and yeah, let's let's keep going for it. D- defensively, I think we've I think we've been. Okay, um, but we can see where where the head and they seem to be going for craft. Um, so I think we just mm. need to pr- protect that at all costs, and I think we should be we should be on for a win here and two more goals. Yeah, can Everton do anything to to, to, to halt that? Do you think they'll bring Calvert Lewin on or anybody else to try and stem it? I don't, I don't I'm sure they can. Well, I, I I I saw the stat on the screen. I think like lacking the goals, he may he may be due one. So that's one to uh, want to be mindful of. Um, but other than that, I think I think we'll be doing okay. I think as long as we can hold our nerve, um, and if if long staff stays awake, then yeah, we can we can do it for sure. Absolutely right. That's it. Then that's hopefully we should be about ready for the second half. Let's do it. Uh, if let's just have a look. See if I've kicked off on. Score Sports News as yet. Uh, don't know if they have. I'll get it off there because the goal came up on Score Sports News before I seen it on air, which was, I had to keep it in. It was uh, not, not very nice. <laughs> don't, don't, don't hold back though. <laughs> no, I didn't. I absolutely, didn't. absolutely not. Anyway, all right then. You can see you at the full time, one. Sam. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, see you then. Bye. So, Sam exits stage and Stato comes back in. Stato's having something to eat. How are you doing, buddy? I'm having my dinner and you keep putting me back on screen. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. No, that's all right. It's because uh, the lady didn't know it was a match. She just thought it was a standard show. So, oh right, no, no, no problem whatsoever. Uh, what are you expecting in the second half, Sato? Well, there'll definitely be a, a resurgence from Everton. They they've shown a little bit of danger. They've put a couple of nice moves together, but there's just been from some shocking sort of final balls. Um, I saw a few people mentioning that we, you know, we'd been criticising Dubravka and he made a good save. I think it was a routine save. I think you, you should be saving that. It was just sort of chest height, just right side of centre. It's a it's a routine save for a Premier League standard goalkeeper. Um, I think we only criticised so, him the once, but he didn't come for a cross that he should have. That's the only time. I think, I think he's looked really, really shaky. I think the defence looked like they're not overly trusting in him. They're not. It's not that they don't trust him. It's that they're not 100% sure. And there's been a couple of times where they've just taken control of the ball and wandered off with it because they're not they're not confident that he's going to be there or mm. if he's going to claim it. And he's actually stepped to go and claim it, and they've just taken it away from him. Um, mm, I want Carries in goal. I, I appreciate we're winning, and, and he's not done anything wrong, but it just it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look right at all. No, um, it's definitely the, the, his confidence in coming to get claimed balls, isn't it, from crosses and things. That's his weakness for me. You know, the, what happened on Saturday with the Suchek chest and then that cost tonight, which I thought he should have come and collected. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to cost us at some point, but let's hope it's not tonight. Well, we do need a second goal because there's a few people saying that. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 
we are not very good at keeping clean sheets at the moment. And we have, we, we've got, although we're playing better, you've got to remember there's three changes positionally to this back four yeah. um, with Anderson coming into the midfield as well. So there's a lot of changes. So it's not that, I think it would be unfair to just say it looks shaky, I mean, even though it does. There's a lot of changes here. <laughs> but, what changes are you expecting to see second half if we make any? Well, obviously, Willock's going to come on at some point, I guess, but there's not much you can do really, is there? Um, oh, God. I mean, that's a tough question. So, players that have been used and trusted, you've got Matt Ritchie. So, whether he com comes on in one of the eight roles or he swaps to a back five, I don't I don't think he'll want to do that, but I think he, he may have to do if players need resting. Because mm. if, if, if players' legs start to go, I think the <coughs> obvious one is Barnes. But the problem is, is Barnes and Anderson, both those two have not played full 90s recently. So yeah. I would expect Anderson and Barnes to both have to come off at some point, which means it's going to be Willock and hey, another Matt Ritchie, I would assume, um, unless he's going to give Barnes or Anderson a full 90 minutes with no sub. But I think it's likely we'll see. I think, I think that's the most likely option. You might see a Joe White in a surprise or mm. he might surprise us, but I think that, that's probably the most likely thing. And then Hall's just going to have to play or all the back four are going to have to play unless he's going to bring on Dumb it or somebody. Um, Joe White might make an appearance in the final five or ten minutes for someone potentially. I can't see Everton coming off for Parkinson. Do you, think, do you think Everton can can make changes and make themselves more dangerous? I mean, they've got players on the bench. They they've got uh, Andre Gomez, Calvert Lewin, Jack Harrison, James Garner. They've got they've got players on the bench that can change this game. Hundred percent. Uh, like Calvert Lewin and Harrison, those two right off the bat gives you gives you a lot more. I think. I, um, I think I think it's purely because of the the congested sort of weekend midweek weekend fixture rotation we've got this this time. It's why they're rotating, but that they can change things. That I think they can be a little bit cleaner and build up. They can make more positive substitutions, um, and I think there's a definitely. I, I think they. I'd be surprised if they don't score. So that being said, we need a second goal. We really do. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. And I think the most obvious place that will come from is Mr. Rizak, isn't it? With how sharp he looks tonight, uh, as long as we can get the ball into him. Um, but let's see. I want to see more Bruno. Bruno's been fantastic first half. If you can, can maintain this kind of um, performance, I think we're looking at an, another 10 for him on, on tomorrow's review show. He's been outstanding. He's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, let me just get some Bruno data up here. He has been doing 30 out of 37 passes. I think that's been a little bit tricky. I think it has been a bit bobbly in the middle of the park with all the physicality and challenges going on. Uh, one accurate long ball out of the four. However, it's not like the four long balls were all bad. No. I think all of the long balls were really, really intimidating for the Everton defence to, to actually deal with. Uh, four out of seven ground duels is very positive considering who he's playing against. Zero out of two aerials. I mean, he does need to be... I think he... Dare I say it, he needs to stop trying to kick the ball you know, the, the, you know, the old school thing you try in the playground where you try and flick it up and kick it over someone and turn and yes, yes. doing that against Onana and, D and Decore, probably <laughs> not going to work. They're just going to put yeah. you on the floor. Um, but yeah, it's it's been really, really, really solid. I think that the major thing is maybe Longstaff needs to be a bit tidier. We do need to try and string a few more passes together. Um, although Lewis Hall technically, in terms of just his technique, just so clean. He's got a very high technical level. No, absolutely, 100%. We're about to kick off the second half. Newcastle are attacking the Gallagher end. And we're off. Uh, Bruno has it from the pass from uh, Longstaff. And back it's gone to Fabian Scher. Square in to Burn. Burn turns and goes back to Scher. Don't know if there have been any changes from Everton. That's a poor pass from Scher right into Mikolenko. Mikolenko goes for Beto. little flick to Ducore. He's got wide Ashley Young. Lewis Hall goes out to meet him. Corner of the Newcastle penalty box. Cross comes in. Uh, header from Kraft isn't great. In fact, it's awful. But uh, Jacob Murphy's back to help out. And he's got Mikolenko really giving him trouble. Longstaff made a, a, an intelligent move there uh, to give him a, a pass and Long, Longstaff clears it. Uh, throw into Everton. Poor start that from Newcastle, actually. One way it's gone back to Tarkovsky and he's played it square to Pickford, who's 25 yards outside his penalty box and long punt down the middle it goes. Looking for Beto, he's fouling Burn there. Ref allows play to go on. Longstaff allows the ball to come down and gives it to Emil Kraft. Kraft clears it loftily uh, straight out of play on the halfway line. Poor from Kraft. Kraft's had a bit of a shaky first couple of minutes of the or first minute of the second half, actually, Sato. 
Poor header and then a poor clearance. But Newcastle can break now with Bruno. That's a poor header from Anderson this time. And uh, Onana steps in. And Mikalenko has it back to uh, Jared Banthwaite. I, mean, I wouldn't say it was poor. It's just he's just Long being ball. careful with it and kicking it away. And Dubravka manages to get hold of it and rolls out for Hall, who's motored down the pitch, being chased by Ashley Young, plays it wide for Barnes. Barnes cuts inside, looking for a pass. He has Longstaff square, ignores him and plays it wide for, well, it's a poor pass up. Marvin Barnes, really poor. Looking for Kraft, but he played it 20 yards behind him. I uh, played for throwing. Good intent, but just poor, uh, poor pass from Barnes up. Anyway, Everton have it with... Uh, the 14, who is Beto, back to Tarkovsky. And now Mikalenko down the line. He goes, looking for the running behind of Beto. He gets there as well. Makes a complete and arse of himself by diving. And Cher takes the ball, gives it to uh, Sean Longstaff. Square for Bruno. He's got lots of space to move into. And Arnold's a close play to him. And Bruno floats it wide for Harvey Barnes. That's uh, actually it was Anderson. <laughs> Brilliant overlap from Hall. And Hall's approaching the penalty area. Gay's coming towards him. Ball inside for Longstaff, plays it for Anderson, might have a dig from distance, blocked from, well, the huge, huge form of uh, Onana, and out for corner it goes. But good play from Lewis Hall down the left-hand side. Nice bit of play from Anderson and Longstaff also. Uh, and the shot from Anderson rocketed into the back of Onana and out for a corner. Yeah, really nice traditional build up there with a with a proper left fullback. No, no offence, Dan Byrne, but it's nice to be able to build up in that way. And if the shot doesn't work, you generally get a corner or a set piece from it. Fifth corner for Newcastle against Dunn for Everton. It's four to eight minutes, virtually on the clock. Uh, corner for Newcastle. In it comes. It's going to be an instant of a Murphy. Looking for Newcastle head. Finds one. Oh, it nearly fell to... Oh, it's in a bar. How on earth did that go in? Unbelievable. Might have been an own goal. It might have been Tarkovsky it come off. It was an inst great corner for Murphy. Fantastic delivery. There is a Newcastle head on it. Tarkovsky tries to get a boot on it and nearly knocks it into his own net. Luckily enough, it hit the angle for him. Unfortunately for Newcastle, it's hit the angle. Well, just, just oh, below the I've angle. just seen that. Yeah, what is... Ta Even Tarkovsky's having a little giggle there. He knows he's had a proper let-off. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Emil Kraft's got the throw in. Uh, looking for movement. There's not a lot of it around. Longstaff has it and plays it back to Kraft. Back to Longstaff. He turns and his touch, as if he's wearing Doc Martens, puts it straight out of play. Sometimes Sean does some great stuff, and then sometimes just stuff that you expect an eight-year-old school child to be able to do, but he can't. Anyway, great jump from Cher wins the ball in the air, takes Beto with him. Took poor touch from Jusagan on the game. Bruno takes it off him. Now Isaac has it. Isaac like, goes outside Branthwaite. Branthwaite comes back for another go. He's got well, he's got two players on him, and in the end, and but then Jusagan on the game falls over, and then falls over again, and this time he gets a free kick for it. Very physical from Isaac there. 49 on the clock now. We praise Branthwaite for being such a cultured and solid centre half, and Isaac's given the proper run around today, I've got to say. Yeah, Isaac definitely looks more up for it physically. I mean, he needs a little bit more to take a little bit more care of, of his sort of surroundings and who's around him there because he, he, he dawdled definitely for far too long on the ball, but tried to recover it. It was a foul, but it's just nice to see him getting stuck in a bit more physically. Long clearance from Pickford's headed away from Cher. Longstaff with the header trying to get over the top of Branthwaite. Didn't do so. Mikolenko logged it down the line for McNeil. McNeil to Onana, back to Mikolenko. Mikolenko turns backwards, gives it to Jared Branthwaite, who then floats it down the line looking for a runner, and there is none. And Martin Dubravka can allow that to come in the penalty area and pick it up. Despite a little bit of pressure from Ducore, bowls it out to Dan Byrne. And Dan Byrne. Plays it in for Longstaff. Longstaff, who's come deep to receive the ball, plays it wide for Kraft. Kraft has a player at his foot, McNeil, and he's fouled for McNeil there. Uh, he, he's pulled off the ball. It's got to be a free kick in Newcastle, but the referee allows play to go on. Thrown to Everton, taken quickly. Branthwaite has it, steps inside Longstaff. Long ball down the line, looking for the same winner again. And once again, it's the same result straight to the arms of Dubravka. And Dubravka faked a, a bowl out there. We'll go to Byrne eventually. Ducore goes to him. And he goes wide to Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall steps inside, back to Byrne again. Longstaff's the man that's coming short again, but he goes back to Dubravka this time. Dubravka. A long ball over the top a minute ago as well that Byrne pointed to Dubravka to come and claim and he 
stuck. He, he went almost went backwards. Poor for Murphy there, giving the ball away. A very dangerous area. Better with a turn in the box, and Bradford comes out. It just gets there, uh, and Dubravka, and once again, Beto's left a foot in there on Dubravka. Second time he's done it. He had a right to go for that one, I think. No, Dubravka was slow off his line, but he got there just in the nick of time. It's poor for Murphy. The little flick didn't work. The little touch from Beto, well, it shouldn't have worked. Cher let, let him go, actually. If Cher should have blocked him off, didn't do so, and Dubravka came out eventually, just in time to receive the ball. But that was quite fortunate. Anyway, here's Cher. Cher with a long cross-field ball. So, great one, too, to Elliot Anderson. No, it's Harvey Barnes this time. Of course, they've swapped places again. Barnes going up against uh, Godfrey. Barnes cuts inside. Then it worked wide to Anderson. The, the, not sure what they're doing. They're at sixes and sevens. Ball inside, little one-two. Trying to get it over the top there from Anderson. Uh, and it fell into the arms of Pickford. Bit of a lack of... You know, what's the word for communication there between the two left-handed players there? Um, but Leverton do come away with the ball with Branthwaite. At Isaac on the, his pressure raising him. Wide for Mikolenko. Pressure from Murphy. Murphy gets a foot in. Might fall for Newcastle this. Mikolenko's under all sorts of pressure. Falls over. That's not a foul. Throw into Newcastle. Mikolenko trying to buy a free kick. Didn't work. Bruno. Little flick over the top of uh, Onana. Heads it wide for Barnes. Barnes going up against uh, Godfrey. Tries to get it inside for uh, Anderson. Didn't quite work. Can we win the ball back? Here we can. Well played that from Bruno to win the ball. Hall has it. He's got a man at his back. Surely he's got to be called man on there. Everton rob him. Uh, McNeil's foul from Burn there. Um, but that's poor communication again from Newcastle. Give him a shout for going out loud. Oh dear. Lewis Hall had no idea he had players on his, on his back coming in to, to challenge him. Uh, and we've seen that a few times this season where players have not been being Man on about. shout. Man on shout. You're playing yeah, at absolutely. home. You're playing at St. James's Park. You should have leaders, other players, crowd. Everybody should be given the yeah, man on shot there. Should. There's no reason should. to be losing the ball in that position. It happened Saturday with Bruno. P P Paquetta came from, from 20 yards away without any way, and nobody warned him. And it happened in one of the European games as well. Where oh, It was Chelsea away where Bruno was, you know, 20 yards clear of, you know, someone approaching him 20 yards away and no one warned him again. It's it's a it's a scoreboard thing. Anyway, Everton have it in the area. Tarkovsky's up there for some reason. And Kraft can clear it or should be able to clear it. Tarkovsky tried to block it off. Kraft played down the line. That's a lovely touch that from Anderson. Well, it's gone out of play off Tarkovsky. Will be a throw in. It went out of play and back in again. The touch from Anderson at the end of it was absolutely unbelievable. Sean Dodge doesn't believe what he's seeing. Hey, what was that all about? That should have been our throwing. Newcastle trying to play. Yeah. Oh, dear me. The trouble here. Beto. Share against him. Share gets a foot in, will be a corner, and this is where Everton are dangerous. Yeah, Newcastle, you know, they were the victims of their own kind of stuff here. It's down to their own mistakes that they've got a corner. McNeil's going to take it. It'll be a, an outswing, I imagine. Big men in the box Tarkovsky, Onana, uh, Branthwaite. Outswinger from McNeil, looking for an Everton head. It's headed away from, I think it's Sean Longstaff that got the head away. And now for throwing, it goes. Not the greatest corner in the world for McNeil. But it'll be a throw into Everton. Will it be a long throw? Idrissa Garnagay is going to take it. Throws it into Ducore. <laughs> goes straight out of play. And Bruno's trying to G the crowd up. Yeah, something needs to change here. We need to get a grip on the game, whether it's a tactical shift. The lads need to wake up. Maybe it's a substitution, but we need to do something. What? So Lewis Hall just lashed it across his own. What? I don't know what that was. Awful from Hall. Uh, and Onana has the edge of the area. We've got Bruno on him. Wide he goes then to Mikolenko. Mikolenko goes back inside for Onana. Longstaff now on him. Uh, back out to Mikolenko. He's got Bruno on him. Onana. Having to come backwards, which is good defence in Newcastle to force them back. It's with Tarkovsky. L looks for a floaty ball. It's not a bad one. And it's gone over the top of everyone. And it'll be a goal kick. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Stato. We've got, gone a bit sloppy, haven't we, the past five minutes? Long ball are looking. It's all long ball stuff. Uh, good jump from Kraft, which he didn't get a, a flick onto. But it put Onana off. And that was enough. 
What um, time are you on? 56 and 6. I'm only about 15 seconds behind you now. Yeah, I'm at the same bit. Yeah, that was that was reasonable. If they're going to attack like that, we can, as long as players stay switched on, we can deal with that. West Ham won, Spurs won. Glennon Johnson for Spurs and Kurt Zuma for West Ham. Head over the top. Uh, Branthwaite gets in. Murphy should get that one and does and flicks it backwards, but unfortunately not far enough. Longstaff steps in and he's given Newcastle United a free kick for some reason. Now I'm not sure what that was for. Very odd referee is from Tony Harrington. I'm, he's seen things that I can't see for certain. Might have been a high boot. I mean, I've just got to point out, by the way, that the TNC coverage is a bit odd. There's no... Um, all they're doing is showing Sean Dyche. You know, we're, we're the home team, higher up in the table, pushing for European football. We're winning. And not once are they showing any how or, or, you know, the narrative is all what Sean Dyche doing and saying on the touchline. It's, it's bizarre. It's really strange. Free kick from Newcastle into Isaac. Isaac takes it. Great ball across. Would be a goal. It is a goal. It's Sean Longstaff, I believe. No, it's Van Burn. Van Burn with a goal. It's 2 0 Newcastle. What a fantastic free kick that is. Another assist for Alexander Isaac. And Newcastle take a two goal lead. Sata, you'll be there any second now. Hit I've the just goal got music. it. Yeah, Isaac. Across goal, and it's a tap in for for Dan Byrne. It's awful defending from Everton. It's so simple. It's it's a, it's one of the first things you you do in the playbook in in a training ground drill is you literally just play in somebody off the right hand side of the of, of the shape, and he whips it across goal. There's nobody picking Isak up who's who's on nine and one of our most dangerous players. It, it's just it's so easy. You've just got a centre half who just taps it in the net. It's it's awful from Everton. Very simple for us. A great great second goal. Well, 2 0 Newcastle, grab your granny. She's gone to get a tenner pad. She's dry down there now. Goal! There we go, 2 0 Newcastle. And well, they are checking. Uh, checking it is outside. being uh, VR checked for offside, guys. Oh god, I think they're all off. <laughs> I think this is off. There's three of our lads all offside. There's no way that's going to count, guys. Unfortunately, yes, not a I'm chance. Not sure, I'm not sure, because there's a play at the far side of the pitch. Maybe play because uh, Isaac's hand can't be offside. Well, his shoulder can. No, that that'll be disallowed. Unfortunately. I mean, Burn is offside there, but then he gets onside for the for the for the, for the next uh, phase of play. It's the bloke at the top of the screen. His foot, to me, uh, he's off. He's acts off. Fine margins, but it is offside. So back to one nil. You didn't check mm, the balance. Lifeline for Everton. How far? That's very very fortunate. Very very fortunate. That would have been Isak's fifth goal contribution in two games as well. Shame. Yeah, that's really, really unfortunate. I mean, it's literally a nuts. What's it over the over the line, isn't he? Uh, and Everton are making changes now. Uh, I can see Calvert Lewin. Oh, uh, Nana's going off. Interesting. Uh, and so is Idris Garner Gay. Presumably, be Garner's coming on them. Yeah, it's James Garner. Bit more technically aware in the middle of the park. Uh, Andre Gomez, mm -hmm. another one. There's yeah, they want to try and get more more technique on the on the pitch. Gomez and Garner with Calvert Lewin up front. They're going and aggressive. Yeah. They want more of the ball and they want a new striker on. And Calvert Lewin for better. Yeah, they're not. We could be have done with that goal standard really because now they're they're going to be trying to push back. I feel like this is potentially the time for Eddie Howe to also make a substitution because. Well, it's not time yet, Sato. I've got another five or six minutes for that. For that I want us to be, I want us to be <laughs> proactive, not reactive. Yes, I agree. It's going to be I a agree. tough. It's going to be a better Everton side now. They're going to be a little bit more technically proficient. They're going to try and take the game to us because they're losing. Um, whether it's a sub or a tactical shift, something has to change. If we watch the next ten minutes and we're getting bullied, I'm not going to be happy because you can you can predict this a mile off. We need to try and make sure we match this. The ball is back with Jordan Pickford in his in his arms, and he's going to bowl out to Tarkovsky. Tarkovsky in for Garner. 
They've took one guard off and put the other one on. Is that right? <laughs> no, it's just a guy against the London, isn't it? This could be great. I have to call him gay from now on. Here's gay. Back to uh, James Garner. He steps inside uh, Isaac. Much more cultured player, James Garner, than what we've had there before. Ball from Mikolenko looking for the run of uh, McNeil. It's cut out from Cher. Long hoof clearance. Nodded down from Branthwaite to Mikolenko and back to Tarkovsky. He allows it to go to Pickford, who hoofs it first time looking for the run. Oh, Dubravka's come out and nodded it to Hall. Wow. Sweeper keeping. Unbelievable. I haven't seen it yet. Hall to Barnes. But Barnes comes inside. Godfrey, Godfrey's still with him, but he plays it back to Cher. Cher back square to Burn. No pressure on him. Calvert Lewis don't just come on the pitch. There's no pressure. Everton obviously don't believe in this pressure stuff and this short pass stuff. Uh, and so Newcastle can play out of a for out of defence easily. Cher's pressure from Calvert Lewin and Cher loses out, but he gets a free kick for the push in the back from Calvert Lewin. Have you seen the Dubravka sweeper keeping yet? I have indeed, yeah. That's what he should have been doing every game for the past three months. It's nice to see it. Well, I'm, I'm getting lots of Sean Dyer's pictures moaning at every decision the referee gives. Now I'm seeing Eddie Howe, actually, with, with Graham Jones, strangely enough, at his side. Anyway, free kick to Newcastle. It's taken from Longstaff to Share, And the referee wants the, the, the free kick taken three inches further back. So he's like, stop the game with 62 and 50 in. And it's a long ball looking for Barnes. It's not going to clear Godfrey that. And he's nodded down to Ashley Young. Back to Tarkovsky. In through Disagarn again. And now it's Godfrey again. Good ball to get out of that little conundrum there, Everton. Uh, and physical challenge from Godfrey. And he's knocked himself out doing it. <laughs> Gone, he's given a free kick for that. Well, I'm not sure what that's all about. He's given a free kick against Elliot Anderson for a foul on Ben Godfrey. I mean, that really is minuscule margins of error. Really minuscule. Just show the offside line again. It's literally a, a cigarette paper between off and on. Freeze up. So we, we've got a comment there about winning it with the starting 11 and that I'm wrong. With 12 people unavailable, you want, it, you want to make zero substitutions in this game. I know we're all about opinions on this channel, but that is ridiculous. There's a clearance there from uh, Longstaff, which is, well, it's kept in for Mikolenko, actually. And he goes down the line for McNeil. McNeil inside there. Well, they allow, is it Branthwaite? It is Branthwaite. Back, back to McNeil. McNeil crosses on the floor. Bruno cuts it out, plays it to uh, Longstaff and a nice pass to his Bruno. Bruno forward there for Anderson. Anderson looking for the ball over the top for Murphy. Has he got the legs to get past Mikolenko? Don't think he has. Pickford's out anyway to sweep a keep. He plays it in for, uh, is that Tristan Garner again? No, it's, it's Gomez. Out uh, of play it goes for a throw into Everton. Throwing quickly taken to Garner. Now Idrissa. Garner gate. And now wide for McNeil. Everton looking a little bit more dangerous, let's say. There's a run on the far side. And Lewis Hall's very far inside, but it's with Godfrey. Lewis Hall goes to meet him. Godfrey goes down the line for Ashley Young, who's got Anderson. Dubravka should catch that and does. Anderson was at his back and Dubravka claimed it over the head of uh, Calvert-Lewin. Although on the wrong side of him, he was forced that it went over Calvert-Lewin's head, I would imagine. But 65 on the clock, almost. And Dubravka's taking his time to get rid of this ball. Bowls out in the end to Dan Byrne. Byrne has Hall square. Hall. Little flip down the line for Barnes. Barnes takes it back to goal. And he's got Tarkovsky at his back. And when Tarkovsky takes off, it was Anderson, in fact. He wanted a free kick, didn't get one. And now it's with Mikolenko. But lots of space here. Luckily for us, it's with uh, the 37. Oh, it's hit the post. Hit the post from Gomez, I think it was. Unbelievable efforts. Is it Garner? It's Garner. Terrific turn. He was left alone and he's, he's hit a shot and he's come off the post. Really fortunate there for Newcastle. That should be a wake-up call. Um, and Everton still have the ball with Gomez inside for Richard Sagan. Again, Everton have been a bit dominant the past five or six minutes since the substitutions. And Funny that. It's almost as if we saw this coming and we said yeah. we needed a bit more umph in midfield, whether it's a tactical shift or a substitution. And they've hit the post. They arguably should have scored that. Calvert Lewin's Rob from Bruno. Uh, and now it's with Elliot Anderson, who skips away from two players, plays it back for all. And now it's with Dan Burn. Newcastle need to get a modicum of control back in this game again because at the minute, Everton are pushing. 
Uh, it's with Kraft. Back to Cher. Cher through for Longstaff and then back to Kraft. Nice triangle work. Being chased by McNeil. Back it goes to Cher. Pressure coming from Calvert Lewin now. Cher goes long. Through the middle. It's a great ball. Big, big will come out and claim it. Uh, unfortunately, it was a good run from Anderson, who's lasted six six minutes, and so has Barnes, which is uh, well, it's 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 great from them, but there are signs of fatigue now. Here's Garner, James Garner, back to Tarkovsky, and then back to Pickford. Pickford floats it wide to the far side, should be cut out from Hall. It is now. It's with Anderson. It's actually Hall this time. Uh, sorry, it's Barnes. Barnes takes on Tarkovsky, goes past him. Brilliant from him. Isaac! Yeah, oh, he's off the line, Isaac! Miss kicks in front of goal. Brilliant defending from Everton. Anderson cuts out again. How has Isaac not scored from there? It's Mikolenko with the clearance off the line. And he's only six yards out to get the shot in. But it's a fantastic bit of defending. But Isaac really should have scored. Now it's with Murphy. Wide for Hall. Hall comes down for share. Now Hall again. He's in the middle of the park. Now it's Bruno. Bruno goes past. Foul from Gomez. Referee plays advantage. Bruno does brilliantly. Now it's wide for Kraft. Kraft can get across in here. Looking for a head. Goes to the far side where Barnes picks it up. Barnes shoots! Oh, just wide and high. Unlucky Newcastle. Stato. Yeah, I mean, that Isak chance, it should have gone in. He, he, he's done okay with it, but obviously with two players on the line protecting Pickford, he, he's just done it. He's sort of dinked it high and central. Easy height for to be cleared off by, um, well, as a header by Tarkovsky. That is a shame, that is. Um, and the right-footed curler from from Barnes just over the top. It, it's nice because it had been all Everton for the last five minutes and sloppy at the back from Everton. We managed to push, get a couple of shots off. But it should be 2-0. It really should be 2-0 at this point. Yeah, and then we've just seen the replay of Garner hitting the post. Could it took De Bruyffe an age to get down to it. 68 minutes, so here comes the sub. Uh, Joe Willock's about to come on. But the play is going on at the minute. It's, uh, it's with Tristan Garner. Gay goes all the way back to Pickford. He's that going to put him under a little bit of pressure. But Pickford clears it long, looking for an Everton head down the pitch. Uh, Kraft gets ahead to it. Now Bruno up against Garner. Wins the header, uh, but then knocked it back to James Garner. Wide to Mikolenko. And then back to James Garner, who's made a, an, a, an instant kind of change to the game. He's, he looked a much more dangerous player. Good ball that for Tristan Garner gave for Mikolenko down the left flank. Uh, Kraft comes across to him and Kraft gets a foot to it. It'll be a corner. Uh, I don't think he can make a change from the corner. We don't want to be conceding too many corners. Very interested to see who we bring um, bring off for, long, uh, for Willock even. Yeah. Well, Barnes has come to life for the past couple of minutes. So, hmm, I don't think it'll be Barnes. Although saying that, Anderson doesn't look tired either, really. Head of Bath back post. Can we clear it? It's good to edge the edge there. Ask the young blots. Uh, living on our nerves a little bit in Newcastle United. Mikolenko has it. Now wide for McNeil. Murphy comes out to meet him. Back he goes to Mikolenko. Anderson tries to get close to him. Anderson, Anderson does look a little bit fatigued, to be fair. It'd probably be Anderson, I think. Pickford goes long. Looking for... Well, there's three Everson runners here ahead of the Newcastle defence, but head of is taken down from... Share and Murphy plays a cracking ball for Barnes. Can he take it control? He can eventually. Plays it wide for. Does he give a free kick? Well, I'm not sure what that's for, unless it's offside. But the change is Anderson for Willock, in fact. So, Eddie Anderson gives a round of applause to the crowd. 70 minutes out on the clock. Uh, good performance, Eddie Anderson. That's how he's uh, not doing himself any harm at all with that performance. Indeed, yeah. I think it was a Barnes handball, by the way, a second ago. But yeah, Anderson was very, very good in the first half. Some really good um, passes, great physicality, great footwork. Um, it'll be interesting having Joe Willock on, though, for the second half. Some legs in the final half an hour. Hopefully, he'll give us some driving runs, link up with Barnes and Isak. Hopefully, it'll be nice and positive from him. Long ball from Pickford goes wide to Godfrey. Godfrey's approached by uh, Barnes. Bruno further up the pitch than Barnes at the minute, but Leverton are playing out of trouble with Branthwaite. Garner, again, is the fulcrum to it all. Ball, well, it's well over hit from Branthwaite, that. Really poor pass straight into the arms of uh, Martin Dubrovka. He'll be disappointed with that, Branthwaite. He'll be disappointed with his performance in full, I think, tonight. I think he's been given a bit of a runaround from me, Zach, and his passing has been pretty poor, to say the least. Uh, Dubrovka has the ball in his in his possession, and he's, well, what's he going to do here? Well, he's, he's put it on the floor and kicked it. He's chipped it, looking for Isaac. Isaac was good strength from Isaac, but 
The ball just fall for Ghana. Now it's with uh, Mikolenko inside for Brunthwaite and a ball out for uh, James Garner, who's come to the, the, the left flank. Now it's with Mikolenko back to Pickford. Bit of pressure from Isaac. But Pickford clears it convincingly and it's a good pass. Little nod on uh, looking for the run of uh, Ashley Young. Throw-ins taken from Godfrey back to Idrissa Garner gay then back to James Tarkovsky. Square ball to Jared Brunthwaite. Still in the Everton half, approaching the halfway line now and crossing to the Newcastle half and plays it down here to the left-hand side to uh, McNeil. Plenty of space there for Garner. But fortunately, Cher was behind him. Willock takes the ball down. Bruno's foul, free kick Newcastle United. Foul from Calvert-Lewin. Uh, and it'd be a Newcastle free kick. 10 yards outside the penalty box, maybe 20 yards. Bruno's down, but he's just rolling his socks up. Nothing wrong with him. And to his feet he gets. Cleverly gains another 10 yards with a free kick. And Dan Byrne will take the free kick. Everton are, are definitely marking the, the men that are short. Anyway, Bruno's going to take it. And back he goes to Dan Byrne. Pressure coming on from Gomez. Back to Dubravka from Hall. And Dubravka clears it long this time. Straight onto the head of, well, onto the chest, in fact, of Mikolenko. Wide from McNeil. Cross comes in. Dubravka started to come, then didn't come. He might fall for Everton foot. Great tackle over there from, I think it's Fabian Scher on Mikolenko. But Dubravka again, dithering. Could have come and claimed that. It's good defence. It's a foul as well from Calvary and the referee didn't see, but a terrific tackle from Fabian Scher to get the ball out for shot comes in. Good save from Dubravka. Palms it away. Hall has it. Hall clears it. Newcastle are living on the nerves again. Uh, been a, another slack couple of minutes. Everton again putting pressure on with Branthwaite well inside the Newcastle half. <coughs> Comes one for Mikolenko. Mikolenko's tried to cross it in. Murphy gets a foot on it and it'll go out for a throw in. 73 and 25 on the clock. Branthwaite inside for James Garner. Back to Tarkovsky and then back to. Uh, Branthwaite again. Now Garner again. Now McNeil has Mikolenko outside. Goes inside for Gomez. Gomez steps outside Kraft. Plays a ball wide for McNeil. McNeil can get a crossing. Can he? He's going at Kraft. He does get a crossing. Headed away from Bird. Only as far as uh, Garner on the edge of the box. Good tackle coming in from Longstaff. Murphy gets the ball though. Now Isaac. Uh, it's Willock actually. He's very deep. He's got players in front of him. Willock goes wide for Isaac. He's at Newcastle in the country. A four against four at the minute. Can they work this right? It's Isaac, comes inside, little ball inside. Bruno! Great save, Pickford. Great save, Pickford. Now it's with Willock. Now it's with uh, Lewis Hall. Back to Willock. Willock on the far side of the pitch. It's inside for Bruno. Now Lewis Hall again. It's going to come square here. Now he decides to put a little bit of a... Well, he's trying to get to the, the far side. He's got Ashley Young up against him. Cuts inside Ashley Young, goes back. Bruno again. Now Longstaff. Bruno. Willock. Not a lot of space to move into. And in fact, uh, there's a foot in there for me, just, just kind of gay. Here's Willock. Cuts inside, just kind of gay. Little one-two with these acts. Beautifully done. Nobody in the middle, though. There's a cross comes in. There's no one there. And it's headed away from Mikolenko. It's a poor header, though. Nodded a wide from Longstaff to Murphy. Murphy can cross it in because he has got men in the box. He can play it He can play it low as well if he wants. Decides to try and curve it. Cleared out for corner from Godfrey. Good bit of pressure for Newcastle without really threatening anything. Yeah, really good work from everyone there. I, I know that we haven't had as much of the ball, but um, the, the attacks are still really, really tidy. It's good work from Jordan Pickford, and we're unlucky not to be um, two in front now. XG up to 2.28, so we're good for two goals. It's just been, I guess, de decent from Pickford. But yeah, I mean, steadfast saying queuing up. Yeah, everyone's queuing up. It should be more than one. We've got yeah. to make it count. Corner for Newcastle, lots of uh, shirt pulling and handbags and tussling in the box. Jacob Murphy's come out to take it, being into engaged. The delivery's been fantastic tonight so far. We have caused problems in corners. So here it comes. Into and Murphy looking for a Newcastle head. Font and Everton one. It's cleared. Should fall back here for Longstaff. Did really well. Played it wide for Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall can get a cross in. It's not the greatest in the world, but it does fall for Willock deep. Willock looking for a pass. Goes backwards to Emil Kraft. Kraft again. Wider comes then to Fabian Share. 
Shares gone for a floaty ball to the far side. It's a great ball up. Oh, Murphy couldn't take it on his chest. And Godfrey decides to get in, in the way and clear it out for throwing. Great vision from Cher once again. Slightly under hit and Godfrey got in the way. Murphy's on that far side of the pitch. It's with Lewis Hall. Now Isaac, or was it Willock? Murphy's still there. It's actually, it's, it's, it's Isaac, I think it is. Why it goes, then it's born itself and Murphy. Didn't get control of it, nearly gets through. Uh, can Newcastle get a foot in there? They can't. Or oh, Bruno did brilliantly to win it back. Fantastic bit of play from Bruno. Wider goes for Longstaff. Longstaff in for Isaac. Isaac. Oh, it's a poor pass from Isaac. And Everton can get it clear, and they do get it clear. And it's Kraft in a foot race with McNeil. Kraft almost did well, but gets the ball forward, McNeil, for Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin up against Dan Byrne. Calvert Lewin, oh, he's gone too far there, and Byrne gets a foot in, and we get a goal kick. Good defending from Dan Byrne, but a counter attack from Everton was dangerous for a little, little short spins of time there. McNeil did really well, actually, to get the ball in. He, Calvert Lewin's well on the side. Uh, and for a minute there, it looked very dodgy. But luckily, Dan Byrne defended really well. Showed him the outside. He didn't want the outside. Uh, yeah, great defending from Dan Byrne there. Really good defending. Got a tackle in too and played it off Calvert Lewin's foot. Out for goal kick. Brilliant from the captain there. I mean, it was him that played him massively onside in the first place. So it we was. had to rectify that. It was. Lewis Hall's down with a bit of cramp, it looks like. Well, he's going to have to get over it. Otherwise, Paul Dummett's coming on. <laughs> I, I know Alex Murphy's on the bench, but he's going to pick Paul Dummett first, guys. Well, Paul, Paul Dummett is actually getting stripped. Oh. <sighs> now, does he put Dan Burnett left back and dub it in the centre back? That is the that is the worst question I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Who goes left centre back and left back between those two? <laughs> Jesus. Well, Lewis Hall's loved, well, it's his first full game for how long at Premier League level, you know? This is the mm. this is what not what not playing Lewis Hall does, I guess. You know. I'm not particularly keen on the preparation there because Dummett's not even remotely warmed up. Like he's just sat down with his entire kit on, like mm. will, we, will we notice the difference? That's the question. <laughs> I mean, all he, he's got to give us 12 minutes plus added time. That's it. That's all he needs to give us. Well, 11 minutes plus added time. Um, just well, run on. your socks off. He's on. Dumb it. Is this his first Premier League appearance of the season? It might be. I think there were obviously some cup appearances. So Yeah. No, I don't think he's come on and subbing any of this, has he? Anyway, Lewis Ward's getting a massive round of applause and just if I'd be so, he's had a very good game. Uh, it looks like dummett has gone to left back. Anyway, little flick on looking for Isaac. Branthwaite gets in the way. Clears it, looking for Calvert Lewin, who falls over the ball, and he's fouled there by uh, Longstaff. Be a free kick to Everton, which Trissy Garnagay will take. Calvert Lewin looks a lot more mobile than better. I've got to say, he... oh, of course he does. Yeah, membership from Keith Dites there, Billy. I can't see the screen, mate. I'll read it out if you want. Okay, not. He says, Billy, we need a situation where someone is getting Roger more times than the police radio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dear me. Anyway, long Pickford took the free kick from the halfway line. Uh, good jump there from Dan Byrne. And out for throwing it goes. Still in a very offensive position for Everton. Uh, but he's thrown back to Risha Garnagay on the halfway line and comes all the way back to Pickford, who's just short of the centre circle. He's at jogging across, trying to put a bit of pressure on, but it's a long ball. Looking for the head of Calvert Lewin, does fall for Branthwaite in the box. Great second clearance there from Byrne. Is it Byrne? I think it is. Terrific play. Aimless ball out from Cher, and it just falls to Everton again. But it's a poor, poor touch from Everton, and Murphy's on the attack here. Ball in for Longstaff. Can Longstaff do something with this? Of course he can't. It just well, we get a free kick for a foul on Murphy, and Murphy's down. There's a yellow card coming out, and it's for. I don't know who it's for. Well, show us who you're pointing at. I didn't realise he'd got his cards with him. Well, Murphy's not very comfortable. Murphy's in pain here. I've seen a rematch. It's Tarkovsky who gets the yellow card. Now, what well, didn't look like there was a lot of contact in that. I'm a bit concerned as to what's wrong with him. No, he did. He, he took it for... He, he, I don't think he did it on purpose. I don't think it's the yellow card, I'll be honest. The, the Beto challenge in the first half should have been a yellow card. I don't think they just cross legs. You know how they sometimes... 
He does look like he's in a bit of pain, though, on the floor. Murphy, this is not good. Anyway, just a guy guy's come off and they've brought on. I don't recognize this kid. He doesn't look very old. It's uh, Chermitty. Or, yeah, I think I think Murphy's done. God, he can't even stand up. Yeah, Yusuf Chermitty, number 28. Chermitty. It's a free kick to Newcastle anyway, and Murphy is hobbling around like he's... Well, he's looking like he's... Um, he doesn't look good. No. Cross comes in from Bruno, flicked away by Branthwaite. Calvert-Lewin can clear it. He does... It's a good ball too. Looking at the first touch, Chimit is awful. And Newcastle get another free kick and another player down injured. Uh, this time it's Emil Kraft. Good Lord. Oh, God. Oh, he's a bit soft there. He's a... Uh, no, I think he's okay. I think he's okay. I think he's just trying to get the free kick and he got one. Yeah, that's fine from Crafty. He needs to waste a bit of time so that we can fix Murphy. Yeah, no, come on, Eddie. Take take Murphy off. He's He can barely walk. To be fair, it's not really Craft wasting time. He's fully been pulled back there. Bruno has it in a minute. Lots of pressure coming on him. But he does manage, just manage to keep hold of possession really well. Gives it to share. Ball looking for Murphy. Little touch back for... Uh, long stuff. That's good football for Newcastle. Now Kraft has it. Murphy looks fine at the minute, I've got to say. He's, he's running freely. But Everton do intercept and clear it, looking for the run of Calvert-Lewin. That's a fantastic bit of play there from Dan Byrne. He's had an absolute storming game tonight, Dan Byrne, the captain. Real give a captain's performance. Terrific defending there. Throwing to Everton. It was on, actually on Tumity. They've looked like they've gone to a front two now. Everton gone 4-4-2. McNeil looking for a cross. Far post. Got to be won. Uh, Dummett does win it. And it goes out for throwing. It's Burn again, in fact. Outstanding. Now it's Scarlett. Yeah, he's been great tonight. Scarlett should be Dubravka's, and it is. Yeah, it suits Dan Burn's game this, um, this tonight. Indeed. Here's Joe Willock on the counter for Newcastle. He's got Isaac ahead of him. He's got Bruno making a fantastic run through the middle. He goes wide to Isaac. Isaac, he's been out here before against Everton. There's three players on him. I've seen it before. Now it's Willock. Willock's got Tom to get back. He gives it to Bruno. Bruno comes wide for Murphy. Murphy's got time. Little board inside, looking for Longstaff in the area. Longstaff puts it back to Bruno! Uh, Lent back and put it over the top. A good move from Newcastle United, that. Really good spell of possession. Ashley Young's in the referee's ear just for a change. Good Lord. He it's so him. weird seeing Dummett Ooh, over on that left wing. It looks like a, a, a oh, fan's this... on the pitch. Well, it's, it's Paul Dummett. He's pulling Ashley Young to the ground there. There could be a VAR check here. Ashley Young, of course, is has advertised it massively. Uh, and they are having a VAR check. This is a penalty. What? This will be a penalty. Paul Dummett rest, wrestled Ashley Young to the ground in the area. Why has he got his arm over the top of his head? What's he doing? Oh, no. This will be a penalty, I'm pretty sure. Paul Dummett, what are you doing? Oh, well, we need a bit of luck to get out of this one, guys, because he's he's literally got his arm wrapped around Ashley Young's head there and brought him down to the ground. We'll be very lucky if if this doesn't get given as a penalty. Well, VAR weren't going to look at it. Ashley Young's made a massive issue with it. Well, I guess he's, he's going to do anyway because he's a tosser that he is. Um, VAR are looking at it. This is definitely a penalty, in my opinion. He's going for the screens. This is a penalty. He's made a massive issue with Ashley Young. And, uh, I mean, why's Paul Dummett doing it? He always has done, though. Ashley Young's always been a massive drama queen. So Yeah, of course he has. I mean, hopefully the referee will take that into account. But Well, well he shouldn't take it into account. He should take into account the foul, which looks like a foul, unfortunately. Um, this Dummett. But I can't doing? see how it can't be what's given. He doing? What's he doing? What on earth is he doing? What's he doing now? What's the point of that? It's a penalty kick. Yep. It's that left kick. arm as well. What are you doing? He needs to go into that dressing room after the pitch and apologise to everyone. Everyone involved. It's not even 
close to being good enough that isn't pulled on I mean, that's disgraceful yeah it's going to cost us three points yeah or two points absolutely disgraceful I don't want him to get that contract contract extension after that the whole point in having him as, as a backup for situations is that he's not going to do that if he's going to do that there is no point in having him and Sean Dice has got a jet get out of jail free card here and it's been given to him by Paul Dummett Dubravka I don't know who takes penalties for Everton I think this is the first one I've had Calvert Lewin's going to take it maybe yeah, it's Calvin Lewin. Well, he's took five penalties. His last five penalties, he scored four and missed one. All gone to the goalkeeper's right. Dubravka's taking a drink, delaying the game a little bit. I wouldn't want to be delaying the game because if they score, we want to be getting a winner, don't we? You know. So, anyway, Calvin Lewin. Oh, Come on, Dubs. Me. You got this. So it's Dominic Calvert Lewin up against Martin Dubravka from the penalty spot, the 87th minute. Terrible bit of play from Paul Dummett. Anyway, he goes short run up. Oh, it's a goal. 1 1. No goalkeeper. We're all stopping that. Lots of power on it. And to, he went to the goalkeeper's right, as we predicted, uh, and passed Martin Dubravka with a lot of power, I've got to say. Change the banner stats. I'm gobsmacked. That is uh, seriously. I, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I just can't understand what on earth. 47 scousers are all very happy. Oh, Dubuck and he got it as well. It wasn't the greatest penalty in the world. It's only the power that beat him. He went the right way. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's been a, just a fine margins tonight have cost us. The offside, the penalty there. Clearance off the line. Anyway, Newcastle on the attack now with Willock. Willock's having to be forced backwards. He's fell over. Managed to get the ball to Barnes. Back to Dummett. Now it's with Fabian Cher. Newcastle suddenly have a greater sense of urgency. Cuts inside, cover Lewin, share with a calm bit of play. Now Bruno, wide then for Longstaff. Longstaff trying to go down the line, block for Mikolenko. Will be a throw into Newcastle United. Taken for Bycraft. Too long stuff. Now share with that long raking ball to the far side again. Isaac doesn't get a touch on it, but he does go to Barnes. He plays it inside for, for, for Willock, in fact. Willock has it. Willock with a cross to the far post. It's absolutely abysmal. Strength the arms of Jordan Pickford. Well, Sean Dodge has got away with this. There's no doubt about it. And they're going to make another change. It looks like Seamus Coleman's coming on to shore that defence up, I guess. Just hold what they have. They'll be pleased with the points. But they're on the attack at the minute with McNeil in the penalty area. Tried a blaster over the bar. It went goal kicked to Newcastle United. Coleman for Godfrey's to change. Uh, time wasting and getting fresh legs in the back four. Here he is, Seamus Coleman. He's got to be 130. Nine minutes of added time we have, though. Nine minutes, which I guess is good news. Anyway. The only positive here is West Ham and Spurs are still drawing one one, so that's we've got to hope that that continues just so we can stay within reach of those European places. Paul Dummett has the ball. Back to Burn he goes, and then square to Fabian Share and Everton drop deep, defend low block. Share wide to Kraft. Kraft's got a lot of room to run into. He's got an approaching player now. It goes for the cross. It's deflected. Uh, falls to an Everton player and the, the clearance falls to Calvert Lewin. Great header from Cher to get it out for throwing Calvert Lewin. Oh, that would have hurt him, but he's up on his feet and back on the pitch he goes. Be a throw into Everton in the halfway line. It's a fantastic header from Cher that. <laughs> Didn't care where he put his head that time. 
And Sean Dice got took down from Calvert Lewin. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Anyway, Pickford's cleared it long from the throw in. They went backwards. Uh, Bruno has it. Bruno trying to do too much in the middle of the park and he's robbed. Ashley Young has it. Ashley Young should play it wide. Cross comes back. It's not the right choice. It's going to go to the corner for Newcastle. But Bruno trying to overplay just outside the penalty box and got caught out and Everton get a corner. Oh, dear me. This is a... Well, this could be the role reverse of Saturday, the way things are going. I don't know what the crowd sound like, style. I don't know if they... I've not got it on. I thought for it, but the corner comes in, little in swinger. Dubravka's fouled there, but referee doesn't allow, well, he does give a free kick, and it's a goal, a free kick to Newcastle. Two minutes of the nine are up, and Dubravka plays it wide for Jacob Murphy, who's lasted 90 minutes, and he's still got look full of running. Uh, it's going to be a Newcastle throw in off Jake, James uh, Tort McNeil, in fact. And uh, Sean Dice wants to throw in, take him back for 10 yards, but Emil Kraft's going to take it. Bruno comes short for him. Kraft didn't throw him the ball. He's still there waiting for him. Come on, Emil. Twice he's asked for it. Sean Longstaff's there now, and he gives it to him. Back to him as well. Longstaff down the line for Murphy. Footing for Mikolenko onto the feet of Fabian Scher. Out wide he goes to Paul Dummett. Paul Dummett. First time pass sent to uh, Barnes. Inside then for Bruno. Bruno back to Barnes. Little chip over the top from Bud. It's a great ball. Bruno's broke free here. Bruno has a play at his back, the 21. Uh, it comes inside for Isaac. Now it's with long stuff from distance. Great diving block there from James Garner. And Ashley Young just gets rid of it. Six minutes to go of the added on time. Newcastle United have a throw in. Bit of urgency for Newcastle to try and get this goal lead again. Uh, it's with Dummett. He urgently shown there. He goes back to Burn. And Byrne goes back to Dummy, who's got a little bit of space to move into. Ashley Young's not anywhere near him. Calvert Lewin makes a token effort to him into Longstaff, back to Byrne, and then square to Cher. Cher finds Bruno, who's come short for available for, for the ball. Bruno to Dummy. It's going to come back to Byrne again. Good, Luke. Good grief. Got a $2 super chat from. Um... Eric at Grimslid, one out of six points to Everton this year is shameful. Um, yeah, we've we've not been doing very well against Everton recently. Willock plays it for Longstaff. Longstaff wide here for Murphy. Newcastle United trying to get that goal advantage again. Murphy cuts inside Mikalenko. Plays for Bruno. Bruno's got two men on him. Little ball for Longstaff from distance. It's uh, deflected, possibly. And it'll be a corner. It was share, in fact. So, corner ball to Newcastle United. 94 on the clock. Well, if I was Newcastle United now, I'd be encouraging a bit of wrestling in the box because, uh, you know, if they get it for one, they've got to get it for the other. True. It doesn't seem that to be the doesn't seem to be the case. Well, it is actually. Burn and well, chairs being dragged all over the place there. We have to give a free kick to Everton. <laughs> one ninety nine super chat from Lewis Potter as well. One word gutted. Well, it's not over yet. Let's wait and see. I've got a minute. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Tarkovsky's always oh, going to take the corner again. I thought he'd give it a penalty then for some reason. <laughs> Tarkovsky was mapped enough as if he weren't very happy but because he because he wants a corner retake. And there's, it's kicked off in the box here. Lots of Andre Gomez is involved. Dan Burns is involved. James Coleman's involved. Chermitty's involved. Fabian Scher, of course, is involved. Seamus Coleman's marking Fabian Scher. Ashley Young is such a gobby little guy, isn't he, honestly? I hate him. I can't stand him. He Most wants over... to fight with Fabian Scher. Why? Just Most overrated football ever. But I'd be encouraging. I'd be, you know, look at Branthwaite again. Burn and Branthwaite having proper handbags here. Just thanks want to fall over, and this ref's got to give a corner. Terrible corner. I'm not fourth in the castle. He doesn't know it falls. Well, Willock nearly win it back. And Longstaff plays it wide for Murphy. And well, Ashley Young's flying in there to try and win the ball back. It doesn't. Uh, gets a throw into Newcastle. 
Still eight years of age, Ashley Young. Still acts like a five-year-old. He's done burn. Three minutes left of this added on time. Paul Dummett has it. Goes wide for Barnes, who's lasted out the 90 minutes unbelievably well, actually, for someone that hasn't played for so long. Uh, Dummett. Back to Bruno. Bruno with a long ball through the middle, looking for Isaac. Tarkovsky will win that all day, every day. Now Longstaff, a terrible touch from him. And Everton can clear it and it just go to Chimiti. Wide looking for Mikalenko, doesn't keep it in. It's McNeil, in fact. It's a throw to Newcastle. Uh, Bruno leaves it for Kraft. We've got just over two minutes left of, of added on time. Back to share it goes. Cuts out Dan Byrne and goes to Paul Dummett. Paul Dummett will probably go out to Harvey Barnes. In fact, he doesn't. He comes inside again for Dan Byrne. Fabian Cher will receive this again and he can pick a pass out surely to go this time. Pressure from Chermitti and nearly loses out the ball to him. Everton put a bit of pressure. In fact, Chermitti is going to get a yellow card for leaving a foot in on Fabian Cher there. And that'll be a free kick to Newcastle on the halfway line. Waste another 10 to 20 seconds, I guess. So Bruno's going to take this free kick just inside the Everton half. Going to float it in, looking for Newcastle head. It's the high line from Everton. Can Newcastle get ahead to it? No, they can't. Willock has it. Willock got a play with his back, Chimiti, and Chimiti robs him. Very weak from Willock there. And Everton are two against two. Calvert Loon through the middle. It's McNeil, in fact. Great tackle, Bruno. Save the day there, big time. And, now, and Bruno's kicked there from McNeil. But what a bit of skill from Bruno. He's gone past three, finally fouled again. That's got to be another yellow card. Surely to God. And he is. Brilliant play from Bruno Gamares share. Fantastic. Cool, I'm just God. seeing the counter-attack now. Yeah, very, very good recovery run from him. Nice and speedy. And doing what he did against Man City, just walking through a midfield and they've got to bring him down. So we're in the final minute. of added on time. McNeil gets a yellow card. Everton playing proper shithouse tactics now. They've done it all game, really. Long ball, hoof ball. And they've managed to get a point out of it so far um, for a really, really poor bit of defensive play from Paul Dummett. Absolute kamikaze defending. Anyway, it's a very central free kick. Bruno's taking to take it. You're going to have to be very accurate here. A little chip looking for a Newcastle head. Didn't find one. Finds Branthwaite. Can Murphy get there? No, in, in fact, it falls on Kraft. Ball's been lumped in the box. Burn's still there. Head comes in from, I think it was Burn, and it into Jordan Pickford's arms, who's now falling on the floor, time wasting. Uh, and referee. Well, He's held on to the ball for 15 seconds there. Long kick there from Pickford. Cher gets a clearance to it. It's going to go out of play. That could be the end of the game. It is indeed. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. One of well, these. Well, I mean, score. we knew this was coming, didn't we? When we weren't taking our chances, we knew Everton would make changes and try and push for an equaliser. Um, and they didn't get it. it. It was purely through incompetence from, from a sub. I mean... Dare I say I'm slightly positive about the fact that with the right players available, this doesn't happen. Uh, people will criticise Neddy Howe's substitution. Who, who's he meant to bring on, guys? I mean, he's bringing on the most senior left back he's got at the club. Of course, he's going to he's going to bring Dummett. Are people saying that uh, potentially Alex Murphy? He, he's he's still very young. He's part of the academy setup, and it's a difficult game to bring him into. So I, I understand that. But again, Dummett's not at the required standard. And because we've got 12 out, we're bringing on people who aren't at the required standard because the back end of this squad is just not good enough at all, as demonstrated there by Paul Dummett's whatever that was. It, it's, it wasn't even a... It wasn't like he got out-sprinted or out-manoeuvred by Flair. He just did something really stupid. It's, it's it was terrible. Absolute, absolute brain fart, wasn't it? Well, let's do some super chats. We've got a £5 super chat from Keith Fuscott. He said, for me, Longstaff has been better. Not great, but better. We need another goal to win the game. Well, that was obviously quite a while ago. Two pounds, Mandrew, how big fan love your channel. Uh, you've done the Eric Grimsild one. Uh, Lewis Potter, you've done that too. Another Eric Grimsild one. Uh, 15 goals from open play this year, and we foul them. Uh, Keith Truscott, absolute shite. Two pounds super chat. And here's Lady Sam, who doesn't look as happy as she did at halftime. Certainly bloody not. What what was what was Dummett doing? Like there's no need for it. What was that? What was yeah. that? I get Eddie doesn't have a great deal of options, but what 
an error. What the hell? Well, he's just burnt his bridges now because Eddie's not going to oh, trust absolutely. him again. Now he's done that. No, absolutely Ob- not. He's unusable. Well, he put in a really good performance in the Carabao Cup. He, he He's, you know, tra- obviously training okay. He built trust. And now he's done that. That's it. He's not going to get subbed on again. I'd be, I'd it's be reckless. shocked. It's reckless. Reckless. Wasted two points. I mean, yeah. Vincent says never pen. I'm sorry. It was the most stable. It was 100% Yeah. Just it was really, deserved. Really cool. Yeah. He dragged I mean, him down with his right arm and his left. He, 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 yeah. I don't know what universe that's not a penalty. I mean, the ref didn't see it. And VAR weren't checking it until Ashley Young decided to make such an issue of it. I told you about Ashley Young, didn't I, Sam? Absolutely. Yeah, you did. And do you know what? Like, he, he, he was he was fair to challenge it so much and yeah. obviously got, got the result. If it was the other way around, we would have expected a, a, a bit of drama over something like that. So, yeah, like, fair enough. But, oof. <laughs> we, we should be winning these. These are the Absolutely. ones that where we're like, we should be winning these. Like, we go in so optimistic, yet we'll pay, play a blinder against a, a top side team. Like, Inconsistencies keep coming through. Uh, Ryan says, I'm not one for having to go to officials, but that was a horrendous call for the offside. Why, TF, does it have to be f- f- finite detail, not the eye test? In Ryan, mate, it is offside. Yeah. We'd, yeah. we'd be furious if that got given against us. Uh, someone says, hey, Dummett is the new Calvin Phillips, which is uh, very strange. Dummett playing like VAR doesn't exist. This is it, see, there's that many cameras around. You're not going to get away with stuff like that, are you, these days? Simple as that. It's madness. Uh, can't blame Eddie for bringing Dummett on. He had no other options and Hall was dead on his feet. Dummett's an experienced player. What is he playing at? Yeah, I agree with that. It's just a, just a real soul-destroying 10 seconds of football, wasn't it? And, and I mean, Dubravka almost got to the penalty as well, which was... Ugh. Uh, Edward Gaunt says, this sums up why we will finish blow Man U. They play shit and still win. We can't see games out. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I've got a £5 from Mark Mullins saying, well, people saying how out when it was Paul Dummett who made a stupid foul in the box and lost us two points. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. There's people what? saying he should have brought on Alex Murphy. Absolutely not. I I would prefer to see Alex Murphy, but in, in professional football, Paul Dummett's earned his stripes. And he, he, he he's not let Howe down yet until now. He played well in the in the appearances he's been he's been called upon this year. It makes sense for him to trust Paul Dummett. He's obviously he's now burnt those bridges. Like logically speaking, it was completely fine for him to trust Paul Dummett. But now that's that's gone now. He's he's definitely he's his contract is expiring at the end of the season. And I think there's going to be a lot of fan uproar if he, if he gets a one year contract extension after that. Because I, I'm I'm repeating myself, but it's not like he was out footballed. He wasn't outpaced, out fought. There wasn't anybody who got a good touch round him. It was his decision to just do an obvious foul in the box. It was all on him. He's let his entire team down, everyone down. And Marco says the crowd deserved nothing worse than fell off witnesses and James's, and the crowd moaned and groaned at Hall. Then the dummy came on. I can't understand that. I don't believe there was. I mean, he got a stand in the face when he went off Hall. So, uh, dummy shouldn't be allowed on the pitch again. Also, Barnes disappeared badly second half. He was always likely to, wasn't he? I didn't think he disappeared. He had a 10-minute spell in the middle of the second half where we created that shot off the line. Um, and then he had a Tarkovsky knocking it onto his own bar, which Barnes was, in, you know, he, he was involved in all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. Losing points left, right, centre, bottom half teams. We won't make Europe. It's gone too many injuries and we're shy. Too many passages in this squad. Well, I guess his comma, comma buttons burst, busted. <laughs> uh, Hall looked suspect or not, I thought. Oh, I didn't think so. Was mm. Hall suspect? No, no, I didn't think he was I disagree. Suspect. You can see he's not the final product yet, but he didn't do anything that caused us to lose the game. Uh, he needs to improve his aerial duels, and there's a few little bits, but that will come in time. He's still very young. Yeah, I mean, Cynical Jim makes a good point here, actually. Ref played exactly nine minutes, but took at least two minutes with the two yellow cards and the wrestling in the box. This is correct, he did, didn't he? Yeah, well, they just make it up as they go along, don't they? Um, I'm just James says I'm just too annoyed to say anything positive at the moment. The frustration with so many issues is beyond belief. I can understand the frustration. You know, that's a game we should have won. Oh, can I just can I just mention this one? 
Alex, I'm wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. So Dominic has earned his stripes when doing what? When we knocked Manchester City out of the Carabao Cup with him playing the entire match. And he was and magnificent. Trafford. And at Old Trafford. He's played games this season and he was good. And he's earned the trust of the manager being a backup player. That is exactly... So I'm not wrong. That's Eddie Howe has played him twice and he's deemed a backup in an emergency. And now he's messed that up with that ridiculous mistake. So he's not going to be an emergency backup anymore. Um, but you, you can't just say it's the wrong sub. It's the sub he's going to go to. It's his most senior defender on the bench. Of course he's going to trust him. A left-footed senior defender. He has to make that sub. That's not on Eddie Howe. Not at all. I'm going to give a positive, though. I thought the captain was absolutely outstanding tonight. Dan Byrne. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> he was, actually. He did. He did. Fantastic, didn't he? Really, really great. Um, I thought he had great confidence. I, I, I thought he was a real leader. And he, and he showed that on the pitch tonight. I thought he was really, really fantastic. Yeah, I thought so too. And I said after the Brighton game that I never wanted to see him at centre-back again. But when you see him play, I guess that game suited him, like Sato said there, with the physical well, battle. This is, this is exactly what we said at the start of the season. And it's exactly what we said halfway through when he was getting pelters. That Dan Byrne is a good player and is going to be good for probably 25% of our matches. He's a yep. great player to have in the squad because he's going to be good in certain matches in the season. Against teams like that, he was magnificent because of the skill set Everton bring. Um, so he, yeah, I, I, th there's no, it, there's a big grey area in football. There's no, he's not good enough or he's too bad. As long as you're not making silly mistakes like Dummett did, Burn is probably worth keeping around for another couple of years just to have as that option against teams that play like Everton play. Yeah, we do indeed. Stato and myself are going to go and do a, an aftermatch reaction on Patreon. Um, we'll be back tomorrow night with a reaction show. I guess Paul is going to do uh, an aftermatch reaction, maybe from his car, maybe when he gets home. Uh, but at some point, that'll be on the channel also. Um, but that's us doing for tonight. A disappointing 1-1 draw. Look positive for a lot of the game. Um, but in the end, we were found wanting in defence, unfortunately. One player's his mistake has cost us two points. Uh, thank you to everybody in the chat who's watched with us tonight. Thank you to all the super, uh, super chatters. Very much appreciated. And the new members also. Welcome to the club. Um, but good night from everyone here. Good night from Sam and Stato and myself. We should be back tomorrow night with uh, the reaction to that. Good night, everybody. Away, the lads and lasses. Good man. Come back and check on some green.